today. Oh, I forget how loud this music gets. Alright. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Sorry. I, <laughs> I follow a lot of uh, artists on Twitter. And I always get really fucking excited when I... I mean, that's guys. fair. You post good post. One of my favorite artists uh, is starting a Patreon on Saturday. And I'm really fucking excited. Hell yeah. I love seeing their shit, and I've never commissioned them before because their commissions are like 150 bucks, and I don't have that money, but I can give them 20 bucks a month <laughs> but I have to support them with my financial income. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm fucking excited for the whole day, man. Game, everything. On Saturday? All I saw when I muted myself was everybody's icon light up green. I hope my, my joke was funny. Oh, it was fucking hilarious. Nobody laughed. Oh. Tragic. Oh! We, we hello! Nobody, nobody laughed, we chuckled. Oh, oh, gotten on the technicality. Fuck. <laughs> my we life. All went, we all went, oh, 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 oh. A sense, a sense, sip of a vulture chuckle. That tickled me to the soul. Which is more than you usually get on the internet. It's more than I usually get, period. Full stop, end the sentence right there. I mean, you usually just get the, uh, the nose exhale. If, does does online games count? Because if I'm doing that shit on fucking Sea of Thieves, I fucking destroy it. God damn! Look! What? <laughs> Look! My oh, fuck! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> My favorite will always be from my friend Rosie's perspective of when we're sailing. We see someone trying to run, launch out of a cannon, land on deck. Hello, fuck boy! <laughs> and that's all you hear. Then the ship passes behind one of the boulders, comes back into sight, everything is on fire. And everyone is dead. <laughs> If everybody is ready and has their drinks and is all right, can I get a D20 from each person who would like to play tonight? Yeah, I'm old. Jake went to make a toasted sandwich. Let's go! Fucking Jake. Can't wait till Jake rolls on that 20 and picks you out of the day. Ow. Mm. You better. No, it he's, he'll probably pick me. Yeah, it won't happen. It won't be. I, I thought um, Adelante's picture was Himiko from Star Rail. Could be. Oh, it could be. Because I can't. <laughs> well, because I picked up Star Rail and I've been playing it a lot. And when I talk to Himiko, I just keep looking at her. I'm like, is that? Is that who? Is that, is that who she's <laughs> using for? <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. It could have been. But it is not. I actually don't remember the name of that character that it is. Just like how every time I see uh, Kaylin, I'm like, is that like concept art for Siri? When she's in the battle armor? <laughs> concept battle armor Siri. can't wait to be the first one to complete our fucking side studies of tools and skill proficiencies and just be the only cook on the entire ship. I mean, you're already the only cook, but yes. It's true. I yeah, guess I'm I should correct doctor. that to be the only one to actually gain anything traveling this far on the ship. And <laughs> <Yeah. left time. laughs> alternate, alternate quest, right? Travel the world in search of a treasure. That'll make us all rich. And then everyone just constantly just fucking studying skills and learning everything that they can. Yeah. Now we just need a musician and a cyborg and. <laughs> this is a One Piece reference. I don't know if anyone got that. I'm sad because Jake wasn't here I to hear it. I spit upon you. <laughs> 
Jake would have gotten it immediately. Turn off the demon hunter for the time. to go wherever you guys want. I mean, that's the danger of boat. Boatin'. Boatin'. My friend Loki. Turn around. Captain, turn the ship around. We're going back. Well, we're like, there are a ton of coastal cities that you can visit. Yeah, pretty much. That nobody has been to in any of the games, so I now have... To create everything. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Six cities built. I mean, that's honestly what I did all fucking Friday. I'm like, you guys have like yep. four major areas that have not been built at all because now you can finally go there with relative ease. Yup. Meanwhile, I also have to make the fucking five armies that are attacking the world right now. Oh, Saki. Baby. Baby. The precious baby. Excited to be starting my job at two tomorrow. Yes. Get that training, son. Back into the world of labor. Then I could buy all the dice I want. Nobody can stop me. I'm gonna get a new house. It's gonna just be a giant D20, and it's a mansion that's like fucking 10,000 by 10,000 feet. Unnecessarily large, of course. But that's so I can get the one-to-one -one scale of the fucking D&D table installed. That would be so... <laughs> that would be fucking wild. Like, just airplane hangers full of minis and dragons and shit. You just look at the DM, it's like, why'd you rent, like, three trailers today, Josh? Don't worry about well, it. Well, we're not playing, we're LARPing. Yeah. And, uh, this is what you're fighting. Animatronic T-Rex walks out from behind the corner. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared, fuck that shit. Animatronic T-Rexes are pussies. Animatronic T-Rexes are pussies? Hey, yo, hey. not a funny. Uh, I, made a, I made a One Piece reference and you weren't here for it. Oh no, rewind time. Uh, we were talking about how we can go anywhere on the ship, and I said alternate quest. We travel the world in search of a grand treasure. Now all we need is a musician and a cyborg. A musician and a cyborg. We have a musician, but she's not oh, a cool. skeleton. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you're not a <laughs> That's true, she's not dead. We could make her I'm a doctor. I do, I do have but another I'm... bard who is dead. Yeah. I can, I can... I'm a doctor, but, but I'm she's also not a an right now. We need a navigator, uh, an archaeologist, and a cyborg. Ooh, and, mate, uh, if, and a if fish Chris person. was still here, he's clearly the archaeologist. We also need a- we also need a fish person. Mm. Hello. Hello. Did I miss now that recap? everybody is here. No. Now that everybody is here. Kaylin, since you rolled a beautiful 18, why don't you recap for all of us what happened a last time? Yes. Uh, last time on the legend of the lost empire, mayhaps? Perhaps. Perhaps. Who's to say yet? Perchance. 
Uh, last time, we stopped at the port city of Griftheim to catch up on some supplies, refresh our stocks, get some get some better food, get some warmer clothing. Uh, everyone was concerned that Mage was going to cause drama because the people of Riftheim hate magic. Uh, so Kaelin sort of followed him around, did a bit of bodyguarding, but Mage was surprisingly well behaved. Uh, up to the point where Adelante <laughs> mentioned something along the lines of, oh, you would, you would, couldn't you just do this with magic? And then, you know, all the townspeople went, oh, uh, magic. I said, oh, magic. <laughs> and they're like, oh, just kidding. Uh, we went back to the boat after getting some spicy chicken, buying some stuff. Who set up a date with a tiefling, I believe. Uh, so we sat on the boat, getting ready to leave. Uh, Adelante touched uh, Petra's lich thingy. I, I, I still don't know what to call it. It's just a lich thingy. The thing that was left behind when Petra turned herself to dust, mm -hmm. and she saw a vision. A vision of Petra being a lich, and being not a good person, which made much of the crew very sad. Uh, a few of us entered a bit of a drunken stupor, drowning themselves in their sorrows. During this time, a bunch of the soldiers of Riftine got on the ship and wanted to look around. Uh, Kaylin was in a very not good mood, and when they noticed Ruin, they got very upset. Uh, and Kaylin threw some hands. <laughs> and killed a fair few of the soldiers. Except one, but, you know, she'll hit us forever. Uh, so we killed a lot of the soldiers, threw many of their bodies into the ocean, and fled. And that's where we are now fleeing the city with the help of a bunch of spectral warriors rolling uh, rolling the oars speeding us out of here yeah you all departed very very quickly okay. I think it covers most of the there was some um, mo further like what do all the gods think what the fuck is up with mentor being a dick talk that happened as well right. We should um, talk the gods. Yes. Um, um, why don't we pick up as you are all uh, finishing the hour that the spirits are able to be summoned for. Uh, and as they, one by one, stand to a salute uh, to first Kaelin and then their, their commander, and one at a time, wink out, ending with the yellow-shouldered commander who will bow to Kaelin for disappearing. You guys are fairly far off of the shore uh, of Riftine, well on your way back to the uh, canal uh, that you'll be, or uh, the shipping channel, I should say, that you'll be following further south. Um, just to recap, you have covered roughly 600 miles at this point. Uh, with roughly a thousand remaining. And that's if you don't go directly to a city. So, are there any further things that you guys would like to do? What is happening this night after the attack? As you guys are fully escaped the city, uh, captain, slightly damaged crew intact, are there any last beats that you guys would like to have for this day? Mm. Kaelin considers apologizing to the captain. <laughs> Sitters. <laughs> you can see he he while not frustrated looking, there is a bit of uh tension in his stance and brow. Gripping the wheel a little tight up there, maybe. 
just a bit. Listen, Captain. Nah. Those guys are assholes. Okay. Don't worry about it. You, you'd never have to go here again. You're gonna get paid so much. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, I, I'd love to plan a place to offload some of these quills that are stocking up the entire ship. We're I know we've restocked on supplies, but it would be nice to be able to get into the uh, study room. The additional storage in there would be very useful. Yeah, Especially for how much of this we got happen. left. Well, first, uh, it would be more likely <clears throat> that they have any sort of use if we venture further enough where magic is not outlawed. More than agreed. Uh, the current course keeps us pretty close to the shore of Faenrun, both northern and southern. We're going to be passing by Gatefort, Quadbor, Svanog, Sunver, and then your choice of New Fort or Contestiva, depending which way we go around No Man's Land. That's more than a, 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 a half dozen cities that we could check out, or uh, all of which are a bit friendlier towards uh, your kind. But uh, I I could also bring up the possibility of we could save more than a few days by cutting through the center we're just about to come around the horn of lifeless yonder if we go straight south or even a bit of a diagonal we cut quite a few days off of hugging the coastline Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> eating, dip, eating their fucking like breakfast. <laughs> Stole a slice of honey cornbread. Um. Okay. I mean, we're deciding. Are we? Wait. Why are we turned around? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, why are we? Oh, the bow of the ship is pointing. Sorry. We're drifting. <laughs> Are we gonna the wait this here is this like a like another um Are we trying to go yeah, around? Could you this ping way, again? Could going, you ping again? Are we going uh are we trying to decide to go this way or this way? No. We're deciding between how you do He's choking. Excuse deciding me. Deciding between going through like the deep ocean yeah. or just sticking to the coast, Hugging which the is coast. much longer. But it'll let um, you guys sell, you could try and sell the feathers at any of those cities because they're all uh, uh, under I mean, the control of fate. We could technically sail to this town, right? And then make the cut straight through the ocean, no? So, like, hug for a little bit and then break off? Or maybe... <clears throat> that I'm brings sorry. up. I was, I was unaware that we had the luxury of time. that brings up the question of where exactly are we aiming down in that split there where are we trying to land um uh, you're from there right do you 
you know. Well, I would want to <laughs> land at the sanctuary only because I'm from there. Well, I was from there. But, and I feel like that probably be a good bet. Would you like to share with your party members a brief rundown of the different cities of the split continent? Yes, I would love to do that. Great, I happen to have one of those freshly written right in front of me. Um, okay, starting with uh, Mardania, the current capital of the nation is said to have been built, uh, 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 built at the place that the first families of Ashur settled in the western half of the continent. The western half of the continent is classically called Paradise, whereas the eastern half is called Desrael. Built on and either side of the Gihon River, uh, it is tied with Veldarine for the oldest settlement of the continent. To the north of that you have Blood Tower, a tall central tower amidst many that dot the western continent. It's a relic of the past. Blood Tower is the last standing bastion created by the Master or Sorcerer Teril Eschaton to defend against the armies of Karak. Farther to the north of that, you have the Castle of Caves, also known as the Sunken Castle. The destruction of the original castle actually forced the inhabitants below ground uh, thousands of years ago. An elaborate city now exists under the dusty ruins amidst tunnels and caves. In the middle of the uh, of Paradise, we have Durnhelm. The main way stop of Paradise, it's equally close to and far from all of its neighbors. Though much trade passes through of it, through it, little is meant for Durnham, leaving the city fairly poor. Uh, the sanctuary, as you just mentioned, built by the hands of Ashur himself. The golden and white edifice at the center of this city is the center of the, the Light Twins' influence in the world. Its people still live in the paradise <clears throat> promised by their deity when this land was given to them. Uh, slightly to the east of the sanctuary, we have Ah. Uh, this large city is the center of martial might in Paradise. While rich tradition, while the rich tradition of spear hunting continues to this day, most of the events center around the Colosseum that the city is built around. With games and contests year-round, there is always something to do in Ah. Then we have the ruins of Desria and New Desria. The ruins of Desria are the oldest elven settlement that now lay smashed here. Towers of green gem and crystal that still prove dangerous to those who trespass in that uh, forbidden place. New Desria is the largest elven city in the split, built into and of the forest. The elves of New Desria live in living wood homes far above the forest floor. And then we go to the eastern half, starting with the westmost city of the eastern half, the Holdstrom. A fortress first and city second, the Holdstrong is the training ground and academy for the followers of the Dark Twin. From this place come nearly all of the Dark Priests and Paladins of the world. It's, all, uh, it's also the uh, de facto border of the two nations that are one. The next uh, 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 in Desrel would be Forest Haven. Uh, it's the only truly segregated town in the continent, the city is cleanly divided into the old elvish district and the new human settlement. Uh, it has been the site of several bloody battles, though rarely involving the greater war between the two halves of the split. You have far to the south, Quilisar, uh, the second oldest elvish settlement. It fell to orcs hundreds of years ago. While, they, while the citizens of this place abide by the laws of the land, its denizens are not uh, the most forthcoming or honest in most circumstances. Uh, this would be this continent's version of Riftheim, to give an example. Farther to the north there, we have Kinhold. Uh, this is the oldest enclave of the first families of the Dark Twin. Deep in the forest and surrounded by many natural dangers, the people who live here are hardy and unwelcoming to outsiders, mostly surviving off of the lumber trade. Farther even north of that is Nelisar, a coastal city that, despite its place in the world, suffers a bitter winter. It is the most remote settlement of the east, and they are left alone by almost all traders save for the crown's tax collectors. 
then you have Veildirin, the second capital of the split, the main capital when uh, the East is in control. Uh, it has the dubious honor of having its ordered and mathematic layout be designed by the god of order himself. The castle and keep stones were laid by his hand as well, though it is not filled with his followers to this day. To the north, you have Waterflow, which is the largest milling community in the continent, built at the base of several water, several large waterfalls. Uh, and even to the north of that is the remote Fellwood Castle, which is a retreat point for the monarchy, uh, uh, for the Desrelin monarchy, if needed. It has a small settlement that is populated year-round, but uh, uh, it is only visited for martial or religious reasons. Uh, by the crowd. You also have the Corinth River here to the south, Lake Cor, and the Gihon River that Mardana is built on for landmarks. Mm-hmm. You, so, uh, <laughs> Adelante's mouth opens and all that comes out. Yeah. I give you a crash course. You know, assuming all of that is exactly the way it was. 100 years ago. So. <laughs> yep. In a way. Hasn't changed in 100 years. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so my my vote would be on Sanctuary. Um, I'm, of course, welcome to any, you know, opposing opinions of yours. Do you have any? If we can land somewhere that's safe and then use the compass, that's fine. Yeah, it, it should be perfectly fine. Uh, nothing should be amiss there. It should be safe, generally. Kaylin, like, chuckles at what Leon has just said. <laughs> no? Like the army, like the eastern, the get like. Well, yeah, we do, but that doesn't mean anything. Not me. Okay, <laughs> I do. But you know, how is that gonna work? Also, as far as I know, people don't like visitors in the split so much. Well, don't how worry. Do we... uh, okay. I'm sure Just... that I can. I'm sure I can talk our way through it. Yeah, Adelante is like the chosen one of the split, right? You're yeah. like a super cleric. Well, I was the seer. I don't know if that's still a thing or if there's a, a fill a filling for the position nowadays. I, I don't know. As far as I know it, I was the only one there ever was, so... Ever? Like even before you were alive? Uh, yeah, I think so. At least I've never heard a story about it before now. Well, before ever, I guess. I mean, you guys are, have been alive for the last hundred years. Have you heard a story like that before? I haven't been alive for a hundred years, actually. Well, you've been alive, you know what I mean. I, like, in this era, you live in this era, so... Just for clarity, what what exact story? Uh, there being like another seer before her, she's like, as far as I know, I haven't really heard of it, but I mean, like, it could be a thing. Like, I mean, that would definitely be knowledge very kept within the the priests, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. All right, well, straight through the deeps to the sanctuary, then. Uh, yep. Sounds good to me. Well, great. I am more than a bit excited to chart a course through that. Um, that sounds like there was not a lot of excitement at all. You are the captain. What is your recommendation? 
if, my recommendation is get you folks off my ship as quickly as possible. And I don't <laughs> think there's anything oh. quite as dangerous as any of you and them deeps there. Perhaps I'm more worried about the ship. That we had a friendship. Yeah. Um, I just been stabbed a couple too many times and had some weird motherfucking sh There, an angel showed up on my boat to warn you all away from something, and you seem pretty damn set upon doing it. That's not Man. a bad thing, I just... Fuck angels. Well, I don't, I don't know about that. But, uh... Uh, uh, mental's a bitch for you. <laughs> As you probably don't remember, because it's been three weeks, but Kaylin is still incredibly drunk. <laughs> Mentors a bitch for real. <laughs> well, uh, yep, if we have to go straight into the deep, then that's what we do. Alright. Uh, you're all welcome to hit your bunks. In that case, I'm gonna set the wheel up to steer us in the night and set up a night shift. Between the boys and myself. And, uh, for what it's worth, thanks for defending the boat. You know, fight the ship and all that. Yeah, I mean, defending the boat, uh, Taking care of everyone, that's, you know, kind of my job, uh, kind of our jobs, I guess. He's missing something. I should probably fix that problem. That being said, you do look like you could use a little bit of assistance. Uh, is there anything, like, visibly wrong with him? Like, very visibly? Yeah, he's got a nice old, nice big great sword gash. Sick. Because every single person that came at you guys in the last fight had great swords. For some reason. Ah. Um, why don't you give me a second and I'll take care of the little... your... Uh, look, Captain, uh, you have a really big wound on your back. Um, no, it's just a flesh. I'm gonna go bandage it right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> ah, just, just let me handle it. Um, we'll call it. We'll, well, I'm about to long rest. We'll call it third. Oh, wow, not good. <laughs> I'm too fucking. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, you do you close up almost the entirety of the wound. There's a, a faint puckered red line <laughs> in the skin where the or where the uh, gash was. Not all the way healed, but basically almost completely. What are you gonna say, Caleb? I was gonna say I can see everyone's HP now. Yes, that should be fixed. Except Coot. You don't need it. I don't. I don't want it. It's better without it. Dying. All right. Uh, do you guys all start heading to bed then? Uh, yeah, and Avalanche is gonna like stretch and like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm not tired. <laughs> go, I go bed. And just make sure everyone eats first. Does 
anybody not eat that? Is it poison? Why would I poison my food? I eat before bed. Okay. <laughs> that cornbread, though. I got berry syrup with it this time. Very good. Berry. But Kaylin say a prayer. Mm, um. Um. <laughs> I don't really pray about food. You pray like, give me strength to slay Not thine enemies and shit like that. Yeah. Pray, pray that the food gives you your strength to kill your dying, whatever. Slay thine enemies. No. To slay that now. Huh? Napping is so very unhealthy for you. I'll slay something. I don't believe that. I believe it. I'm more healthy than you. Look. Which one of you is point point to myself. Huh? Well, I've realized I have no idea I have any of your ages. Well, I mean, you don't mind. I'd point at Leon. <laughs> A hundred and something. 126. Oh, never mind. I point at I point at Adeline too. <laughs> I guess I'm older. What? Well, do we don't count the hundred years. I don't think. Yeah, just 26. But 44. Because I didn't actually age. Mage phases through the floor. Right. Everyone is completely used to it. You pick up a bagel. <laughs> Mage is like, I'm two weeks old. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, you got me, be cool. I'm, I'm, old. I'm late 30s, 38. Yeah. 44 years 20, old. Five. 28. Okay, grandma. Please call me Grandma for saying I'm 28. That's the lowest me. number anyone said. I think she no. called me Grandma. Who oh. is 44? It's Grandma. I'm a young one by that standard. What are you talking about? I mean, for a gnome, half elf, human, and. Oh, uh, mage, try it. Here, have some of this butter with that. Uh... Are you trying to say I'm the oldest for my relative lifespan? I was gonna... I, no, I was actually gonna ask Adelante if she was a human. No. Mm -mm. No, she's like a... I'm a... Change hold on. person. I'm a, uh, hold on, one second. And I, like, I just go, look, watch this. And I, like, swipe my hand in front of my face. You know, we do this thing. Right. Squishy yeah. people. Shifter, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or not a shifter, a chain. You're invisible. How long to it? Yeah. Let me just refresh. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, She's not the only one who can change faces. Yeah, look, I point to my makeup that Liana put on earlier today. Oh yeah, I never got your guys' opinion. Um... It looks good. I mean, I've never put on makeup myself, so I don't really... couldn't really tell you, but... Who the hell? I think you mean, who the hell? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Your hair looks really wavy. Hmm. If I touch it, will it just be an illusion? Yes. Oh. I can't do what she does. But I can mimic it. A little bit. Hey, turn into me. Oh. Hold on. Uh, do it one more time. <laughs> Change over to <laughs> Change over to the elf. Or am I still elf for you? 
Sadly, I don't have that rollable token. I'm not going to make Nate. Your token is, should be rollable right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean you need, you want to add? No, yeah. No, I'm not no, doing that right no, now. No, no, that's, that's, no. Fuck yourself. Exactly. I'm not having do rollable, rollable token craze. I know that pain. Trust me, I know that pain. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, as far as I know, I'm 44. Of course, there's the whole happenstance where I was like five colors at once with the big brain thing. What? When we went to handle the one that. Uh... Yeah, space Goop. Everyone else had like a singular color. I had like five. I don't know what's up with that. Hey? Well, I mean, I've dabbled, but. I guess. Bye? That doesn't make sense if you were a different color than me. Mm. Um. Start calling people out based on colors. <laughs> oh god. I guess because of illusions, maybe? I mean... Ah. I had the one that was, like, different. And yours was, like, black. Yeah. I don't really know. Could try to figure it out? Unless any of you have seen something like that before. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold it, dimension, dimension research, not my thing. Mm. Mage? You're the m mage. Oh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> really? Glad uh. you're enjoying it. Um, I believe the auras are less to do with dimensions and more to do with fractile auras. Huh? Sorry. Are you uh -huh. saying, saying like I'm fractured? Well, that is my hypothesis. That's pretty cool. What the fuck are we talking about? I'm cracked. Yeah. Um, we fought these things called Star Spawn that were from, uh, somewhere else, and they were here to get somebody from here and bring them back to somewhere else. It's fine. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Somewhere else, you mean, like, the, uh, the, the one, Another... what did, wait, what did this person look like? Uh, crazy reality warping mo monster. Mm -hmm. Lots of mm -hmm. eyes and well, tentacles What were they after? Uh, right there. Vega and the, uh, the blue, the blue tiefling. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that was that was what that vision was, huh? Maybe. Huh? I told you guys this when I had that seizure thing when I touched the compass. Uh, oh yeah, she's yeah, from like super me. space. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. Someplace. That reminds me, is that compass on charge yet? I have someone I need to try and find. Oh god. What's, what? Wins. What kind of reaction is that? What? I know good people! I mean... Are you, you going to use it to find a good person? Debatable. I mean, she was my first master, but yeah. Right. Slave oh, tortured you. terrible, actually. Yeah, that sounds yeah. terrible. What? The reason for your crazy, weird dependence on what? this guy causing pain magic on you every morning? What? Yep. That's research! Yeah, we can call it that, but that doesn't really 
Uh, anyway, um, that doesn't The torturing sense. that you submit to every morning, yeah. <sighs> yes, that. That's a study exactly. of magic. Yeah, uh, mm, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's what I'd call it. I bet. I mean, so I guess yeah, that's a no at least on the compass then? Yeah, that sounds like a pretty solid no to me. Pet, Coop, I value you as a person. But yeah. the moment you begin to grow selfish with our devices is the moment my concern is raised. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to steal it. I just wanted to see if, like, they were still around. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, is that... That's hardly important to the current task at hand, is it? Not at all. Just, like, your curiosity. I want saving. Look, we're going to be on this boat for, like, at least a week. We can do it and we'll just give it back. I know how your minds work. I give Ku the compass, it points in a direction, and that seed of thought begins to grow until it becomes all encompassing. Well, I'm not you very patient. You have, you have very many blockages that we already have to sift through every time you lose your mind, Ku. I simply do not wish to further break that down. Alright. It's just not the best idea, but... I'll put it on the back burner for now. He actually takes the compass and puts it on the <laughs> back burner. <laughs> Being in the fucking big oceans, it would just point a direction. We would go, okay, maybe on that entire continent. Yeah, but I'm not worried about racing over there and doing it. I just wanted to know if, like, she's actually around. Well, we did get separated did know, from a cave in. Do we know what would happen if you tried to use it on a dead person? That's a good question. Let's find out. Wait, so now we're coming around? <laughs> we're coming back around on giving Ku the thing. Okay. I always wanted to give it to Ku. Why? It's a grown ass you... person. Yes. Older than me, by far. I don't think that you are all getting quite. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, but I agree with Mage. Wow, you can't I never thought I would say Let's be fair, we haven't agreed on much. That's very true. Let's be fair. If we don't let Ku do this in front of us, Ku's just gonna steal it and do it while no one's looking. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not keeping it and I'm not running away and it's not... Well, I could probably leave, but no, I wouldn't be leaving. I have too much business invested. If I am to say no, why do you continue to push it? Because... I feel why like it could work. You, why did you continue to try to put feathers in everyone's rooms after we said no? That's true. Because we can use them, and there are high, there is higher value in the properties of these feathers. You don't value Ku's mental being? I just want to know, and that way it leaves my head, and I can worry about it after. I do not know what importance the past has when we are set for the future. A confirmation that someone I care about is alive? Okay, is this like a care about thing, like you had Stockholm Syndrome? Because that's what it feels like to me. It's, I mean, I don't have Stockholm Syndrome, like, they took care of me, and I was their pet. Yeah, that. I'm not the only one seeing this, right? I'm not crazy. Lana, please. Did... Yeah. Defin it's definitely. It's it's definitely giving Stockholm, right? Like I'm not. Oh, afraid. 
easily. I don't know what that what that means or who, where that is, but yeah. Uh, identifying with a captor or somebody who's holding you against your will. Feeling comfortable, uh, that sort of thing. Bad DM only D and D situation. <laughs> what? Huh? Sorry, I blacked out. Well, anyway, does it sound like that? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound great. No, it does. You are a slave, and you want to check to to see if your master is doing okay. I... That's like me going, "Wow, I wonder if that I wonder if that vampire is doing okay. He only sucked my blood, like you know, like." I mean, I had a lot of purpose. You know, we're literally chasing a vampire that sucked my blood. That's why I'm saying it. But we're going to kill him, not date him. We're not going to give him a housewarming gift. I mean, I'll I... give him a gift. I, can, I guess I can see your point. Is just... Let's table it maybe on a day when we're not doing anything else. When it's not going to cause any issues. Seems like we're all a little high energy tonight after the getting, you know, boarded. Yes. Accosted. Uh, yeah. Did you see me throw that guy off the ship? We did. It's pretty, it's pretty good, right? Pretty good move. Uh, anyway. Um... Yeah, fucking Caleb broke that, that lady's arm. Yeah, that did happen. Don't live. That was Keep intense. I just Making think... enemies? Mm hmm. Okay. It's more fun that way. Maybe they'll come back for revenge. Mm hmm. Well, that's it. Give her a I'm life gonna... goal, you know. Um, hey, she might not be able to live up to that. You might be dead. Lion's gonna stand up, tuck the last crumb of, of cornbread in her mouth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go play myself a song and pass out. Um, Wait, can I listen to the song? Oh, uh, sure, I'll, I'll stay here. She'll, like, I sit like back down too. in the chair. I mean, I could just go with you and then leave when you're done playing the song. Uh, Mage and I's room is very, very small. Yeah. I see. There yeah, are quite yeah, a few yeah. feathers, and I already have to deal with them climbing into my bed during the <laughs> night. So. Oh, that happened to me once, too. Yeah. You're surprisingly chilly, mage. Why do you think I'm crawling into bed? <laughs> I, it does make sense when you say it that way, but, uh... You maybe. know, I had a joke there, but I don't want to tell it anymore. Hmm. Telling. Chilly. Um, I'm gonna play a, play myself a little ditty. Then she's gonna pull her lyre and uh, tune it, give it a strum. Fucking bards. Ah, uh, how good is my performance? Can I ask to be? <laughs> I don't want. Never mind. I don't want to ruin her performance. <laughs> bards, 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 um, bards. Yeah, you are all serenaded and left in a sleepy mood uh, at the end of Leon's performance. It is dark uh, outside. The sun has completely set uh, over the water. I, I give her a hug. Oh, uh, she like hesitates for that one moment and then hugs you back. What was that for? I, I don't know. The song kind of made me feel happy enough to hug someone. It was weird. I don't. Talk about bardic inspiration, huh? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Because you're a bard and not because of anything else. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Looks down at the floor. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Uh, just gonna get up and 
cross paths with Minos and like fist bumping. Oh. <laughs> Pounded, bro. Uh, that's that's <laughs> Minos. Oh, sorry. He's the he's the bitch one oh, who doesn't fuck, ever hit on one. rolls. Wait, he's the one that I ran away. You I do see Minos getting up. Oh, I okay. Sure, you pass. Uh, you pass. I knocked the door. Yes. Yeah. Can I? Can I? Uh, can I go uh, in? Yeah. What's up? Uh, well, I just wanna, I just wanna ask you a question. What can I answer for a big old magic priest lady like you? <laughs> big old magic priest lady. <laughs> well, that is what I am. Um, well. Uh -huh. That's why I said it. I just, I couldn't help but notice in our in our last little dust up. Uh, you, uh, you don't seem very... I'm sorry, I don't mean to say this in offense. That, I, that's not at all my intention. Um, you don't seem to be very confident in your skills. No, not, not a, not a big old fighter. No, not by any, no. I mean, would you ever want to learn? Uh, I'm, I'm more of a sailor man, personally. Uh, well, yes, but think of it, right? You want to help protect your brother, yeah? Well, sure. I just feel like two two hands and two people standing side by side is stronger than one. Yeah, but, you know, he does the one thing and I do the other thing and we help each other. Yeah, just, uh... Well, you know, if you ever feel the need that you want to learn... I could teach you a few things. Uh, I have military training. Well, military air quotes. I have combat training, uh, as well as medical training. I mean, I could even teach you a bit of medicine if that's more your speed. Uh, yeah, maybe someone to help with mending some bones and stuff. Yeah, you could be my uh, you could be my doctor's assistant. Sound good? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I'll, uh, I, I won't keep you up, but I'll have a talk with the captain about uh, teaching you some things like that. Uh, you have yourself a good night. You too, Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Briar. High, High Priestess Briar. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Adelante is fine. Oh, okay. Miss Adelante. And then, then I'll just, like, close the door and, like, go to my room and I slumber, I sleep. Okay. Everyone slumbers and sleeps well through the night. Uh, dawn arises the next day, and I'm going to, uh, say that because you all decide to head for deeper waters, uh, on this day of travel, you guys are going to be going the wrong way for your pursuers to be able to easily follow you. The small intercept boats that you can see behind you in the morning are far back and hugging the coast as you head south away from the shipping lanes. Aww. Mm. I want to choose my fireball thing. Too scared to come out in the open ocean, huh? Faster ships, but not meant for the big waves that can be found. <laughs> uh, let's do skills being learned today, and then we'll uh, see if there's anything specific you guys want to do before we keep progressing days upon this journey. Shall we? All right. Uh, Kaylin. You are doing animal hand. Everyone is still at a flat D20. Uh, Kaylin, your DC is 13 for animal handling. Mage, your DC is 13 for water vehicles. Ku, your DC is 13 for cooked utensils. And Adelante, your DC is 11 for water vehicles. <laughs> Kaylin, you are not going to progress today. Ku, you are not going to progress today. Adelante, you are not. No one, one makes. Yes, you may. Anyone may use them. But any point. I Ku, you are not going to progress today. Adelante, you are going to progress two today. 
Yes! Let's go! <laughs> nice. Catching up with everybody else at DC 13. Worth it. I'm gonna regret that later, but whatever. Uh, is there anything specific that people would like to do on this day as you guys are getting farther away from the, uh, uh, shore? You guys are about 50 miles away from shore at this point. You don't then you don't I, you guys have been talking about speaking to gods and things like that so yeah we, we have to time. do that right we have to do the whole talking to god thing i have something well i'm gonna go back to Atlanta. okay you catch her mid-morning uh after her own water vehicles training but before she's going to go help minos out with medicine I'm like leaving the room. Thinking about um, what you said. It's a, it's a large mix of confusion. Not uh, on the person, but. I remember having siblings. I'm not there? sure. I don't remember. Shunda was my master, but Zana and Tana were my Sisters, I have more. I, I'm not going to worry about my master. No. Is it permissible to see if that my siblings are around? That ad is something that's more it makes more sense but I'm hardly the person to talk to you about I haven't really got I don't really have the compass myself right. and I highly and I highly doubt even if I did change my vote that made you be swayed anyway so it, you'll have to do some convincing with them I, I, I'm afraid right Where is the guy and how do I teach him things? Uh, he would be above deck. Yep. That's Actually. also where you would find Mage Koo. Uh, Mage! Yo ho, yo <laughs> ho, a pirate <laughs> life for me. <laughs> Obviously, uh, thinking a lot more on the master part, which is true, uh, I understand not allowing me to search for her, you know, past and business first. Would I at least be able to confirm well, my sister's hard life, or at least one of them? For what does this benefit on mission? I guess peace of mind and I could focus. I find that the anonymity of the unknown will be a greater embrace sort of truth that is out there. Uh, 
All right. The compass will only point in a direction. It will not answer your call on the well being. I grow concerned for your obsession. It's just a lot right. of mixed things, and I guess trying to organize my head a little better. Though. There's a lot more missing up there than I, I, I saw originally. I'd go think for a while. Why don't you roll medicine to teach uh, your, your crew member today? Teach my, my apprentice. <laughs> mm. Hey yo. I'm gonna I'm gonna medicine him up. He's gonna learn. I don't teach him very much. It's a, a, a first day, mostly figuring out how much he knows already. You go over some home things, how to treat, uh, uh, a lot of those being like how to treat your yourself if certain things happen. Uh, one yeah. thing that you go over that he did know is how to set a dislocated shoulder or elbow. Um, the way you close your fist and turn your arm to pop that back in. Uh, could, and could I uh, let him borrow my, uh, my, med my medical book? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I would give it to him. Like, uh, study this, uh, you know. Oh God, there's a lot of them big words. I, I mean, you are. Wait, I haven't even checked. You are literate, right? Uh, sh sure. <laughs> like you can read. G yeah. yeah. Are you li are you lying? Or <laughs> no. Oh God, he's not. He can't read, can he? I can read. I'm telling you, I can read. Okay, well, I'll need you to read. He's not a big book guy. Well, I know, but this is, you know, this is the way that you're going to learn. I'll teach you, but you also need to read this book. It's, I mean, it's written by me and a bunch of other people, but mostly me. All right. So just, we'll pick up our lessons day to day. But I do want you to be reading this. That reading it, taking note of things, that sort of stuff. Oh, oh, all right, uh, I'll I'll definitely do that. He takes the book, cracks it open, starts looking down the the table of contents. <laughs> you can watch him very slowly sounding out words. Of course, if you ever have questions while you're reading, uh, let me know. I'm available constantly. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, make sure that you can contribute just as much as everyone else, you know? Sure. You, sa you sail, and you do a great job at it, but, but this will be a little bit of an extra edge, you know? I can't be the doctor forever, but you can take that place. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate it, Miss Miss Alante. Of course, of course. Any anything to help you, you know. That's my job to help people. Well, thank you. I I should um get back to shipley duties and such. Of course. Speaking of that. Oh, and do keep, do take good care of that book. It's, uh, very, very, very This book, he throws rare. it over the side of the boat. Oh, uh, no. 
it, it, it's, it's the only one that's ever been written, actually. Um, it's the only book that's ever been written? No, the only one of it- uh, That's crazy! Uh, well, actually, now I think it's one of two that are written. It's the original, I would say. And then I, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna, I'll go ahead and leave you to it for the day. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, uh, we'll meet here, let's say, every other day. Should I do it every day or every other day? Do I want to give him breaks? I'll give him brain breaks. I'll say every other day. Brain breaks. Well, okay. we'll have a lesson every other day. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll. Then I'll have tomorrow to study. Yep. And then you can ask me any questions you want the next time we meet up. The next time right. we have a lesson. He's gonna take the book and put it down in his quarters, and then uh, start moving around helping with the ship. Perfect. I have a student. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, Go stand next to Kayla for a little while. Major, are you doing anything besides singing sea shanties in the captain's ear? No. Okay. Any other god based shenanigans from Kaylin or Adelante or anything else before we progress to the next day? Nope. Yeah, I guess that we I should talk to you about doing that. Go on. Mm. Hold on, I'm not talking to one. Well, Kaylin, uh, our conversation with the gods, kind of a thing that needs to happen, you know. Where's the gods? I don't know about you, but I... I don't, like, talk to war often. I don't well, even pray to war often. Well, yeah. The only times I've spoken to war, she's come to me. It's sort of how paladins work. Okay, fair enough. But still, our current situation being what it is, don't you think it'd be a little bit more of an important check-in? I am a little confused as to my current goal. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, we're getting all these amulets to open the portal thing? Or not open it. I don't know. Because Mentor seems very upset that we're purging all these amulets. But, you know, he's a bitch. I'll get an answer, but I mean, I can try. As it comes with war, I guess you have that sorted out on your own. Yeah, totally. Well, I mean, more sorted out because you, uh, like you said, she comes to you, they come to you. It's much less of a. You don't really have to go seeking, if that makes sense. I, I mean, I will say she's only ever spoke to me twice in my entire life. Oh. Huh. It's not like, a, hey, Kaylin, what did you have for breakfast today? No, it's like, a, wow, what you did right there, that was fucking cool. Time to talk to you for the first time. 
you're really cool, and I'll give you my powers. I like you. Hmm? And then it was like, yo, this guy, this guy right here, that's the guy. Big fucking deal. Uh, and then he, he left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I could try to get her attention, but... I mean, I from there wasn't really much words spoken, it was just more visual. You know? Oh, I like straight up spoke to her for like a solid few minutes. I was in like this warehouse. She was like smithing some sort of blade. She looked exactly like me as well. So Maybe I'm war. I was about I look over wait. <laughs> wait, hold, hold on. You're not like secretly a god, right? Ask my parents. I I like I get really close and I like poke your, your cheek. I'm like you're Feels like normal flesh. Definitely don't feel godly. Well, not like divine, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Oh my god, if I touched a god, would my brain explode? Um. I don't Probably. Know. Who said that? <laughs> the captain. Are you eavesdropping, Captain? It's not dropping eaves when it's on the deck of my ship. Yo, that's ho, true. Yo, ho, that's my you know, as you have a beautiful voice, Mage. As Liana says, uh, maybe gods are just really powerful people. So maybe I am a god. It's okay, yet to well, be determined. That's a bit presumptuous, no? I'm joking. I know. Yeah I, will... yeah, I guess I'll sort it out in my room. Talk to... Sure, maybe. Probably. Probably not. Um, get a vision or two, maybe. Hopefully. Um, and see what we're supposed to make of... And points directly downwards to the word stop between us. To the word two. Two, yes. I forgot some of it is uh, a little bit scrolled <laughs> up. You know, that. I mean, what, what do you call that? Word. I can't call it. We would call that, like, mute, you know? That's what I would I mean, you could. Uh, there are a variety of divination spells available to the discerning cleric. Mm -hmm. Which one should I use? It's a great question. Yes. Would you like to commune, divine, or green? Some combination thereof. Yeah. Uh, isn't augury like super pagan? <laughs> Wheel and woe, right? Most of them are very vague. Well, yeah, but that one's even more vague. That one's just like, eh? Or, uh... Eh? 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 Bitch. Wait, when you touched me before, did you did you get a vision of me being a god? No, when I touched your axe, I saw you in the bay, swimming, mm. fire, or whatnot. You know, that sort of thing. Is that all you saw? Uh, yeah. Uh, you swimming, carrying somebody on your back, blood on an axe, uh, ships, fire blood in the water. That was all I saw at that time. I'm honestly curious about some of, some of the others here. I kind of want to see what I can glean from Liana. I would advise against touching Liana or Ku, judging <laughs> your history of yeah. seizures. That's true. That is probably a poor idea. 
not from this reality and whatnot, right? I believe you've already touched both Ku and Lana just in the course of healing them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but it, it usually, and I, I didn't get anything from them, right? But I also didn't get anything from Kaylin, like, her, like, skin outright. Like, I was right. touching an item. It's, it's less people, yeah, because they're yeah. less history. Well, with that being said, I guess I'm gonna go to do the communion thing. <laughs> or at least try and talk to God or something, you know? Could I even do a diviner? You can try. Yeah, I guess I do want to try that. Is a worthy try. Sure, I'll I'll give that a shot uh, after everyone else has done stuff for the day they want to do. I think everybody else is. Yeah. Yeah. Who's in the kitchen cooking? Thinking. We're good. Okay. I'm good. Yo ho yo ho! A pirate's life for me. Yeah, just go, dude. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the next day. <laughs> I'm trying uh, to speed yeah. up this fucking ship. I'll get I'll get in my room, light some you know, light the candles and the incense and whatnot. Uh sort of like sit down on the bed and just like ask for guidance, you know. Um, there's this whole thing with mentor and I'm kind of just lost. I don't know exactly where where to go or what to do anymore. Uh, this mission is something that I would hope you can help me figure out. Like, do we keep going? Should we stop and turn back? Something. I, I don't know. Something. I need guidance. I need help. All right, please roll a d100. You are looking for a 14 or less. Oh, oh god. god! Let's go! Let's go. go. Bro, I've basically never seen anyone succeed. <laughs> hmm. Do you want to do this here? Or do you want to go downstairs? Let's just do it here. I'm down. Um, you receive a vision that is more like a montage than the visions that you have seen before. Normally it is a specific scene and you watch in real time as something happens. This is snapshots. Frames taken from times long past or perhaps still to come. You see a vast starscape. And in this vast starscape, a colossal, unknowable being covered all over with eyes that peer out in every direction across a land that is still forming the sphere hot and spinning between their six hands. And you watch this being, through several shots, create a world flush with life. Again, time seems to pass several frames of this being viewing its creation. But then you see this being become disquieted. It reaches into itself and pulls out what appears to be a glowing, pulsing heart of some description. It doesn't look like an anatomical heart, but there's no other word that you would use to describe it. 
And as it produces this thing from within itself, you see the vast unknowable form shrink and become more humanoid. A distinct head, arms and legs, still vast and covering the cosmos, but you are able to fit the confines of her, a distinctly female form in your understanding. And you watch this other being form a male humanoid form again covered with eyes but rather than the deep blue black of a galaxy it is shot with riotous colors still the deep black but instead of the white pinpricks of bright stars it is slashed with ribbons of different colors that seem to swirl across it and you watch as these two beings begin to populate the world creating beings in their image and placing them across the land and you see a disagreement the cause of which is unclear but the effect of which is unmistakable you watch as the male figure turns, bending down towards the spinning globe as if to make a change. When it is struck from behind with the eye-covered female form. You watch as she carves the other being into five distinct pieces and casts them down towards the globe as in burning comets of flame. And then you see a snapshot from, for the first time, the perspective of your world. The place you know is Nexus. You see a thing that you have seen images of, drawings of, you view the beautiful face of your god, arrayed in his golden and white armor, striding across a land that you recognize as paradise in its heyday. You've seen the murals in the sanctuary that depict the actions that he is doing, picking up grand stones of white marble and building them, laying the foundations for the sanctuary. And you see your god turn, and so too does the camera frame turn, and you see a snapshot of a being that is just as beautiful as your god. His mirror image, a twin, handing him a massive slab of marble, far too big for a human to carry. These 40-foot-tall beings building together. Though you can't hear it, you can see as your god says something, and the twin, who you recognize as Karak, laughs gladly and happily, joyful at his brother's presence. And then and quickly you see snapshots of other beings, a 40-foot tall woman wearing a jacket covered in pockets both inside and out, striding across a broken and frozen land, igniting fires with a spark of a massive tinderbox, handing out tools, teaching those that pass beneath her. You see a massive building, a library, built in the foundations of the world, where all knowledge is carefully curated by an old, wizened man, oftentimes takes moments in his garden. You see a woman, huge and covered in burning red armor, forging weapons and tools, and arming those that she crafts with her own hands and sending them out into the world. You see war. The eldest of the five gods that you know, striving to take back the power that she knew that she and her siblings once held. And you 
you see the the different gods fight back, each of them rebelling and turning against her, seeking to preserve a balance. And it's the balance that tickles your mind. Suddenly you see an image of Mentor, deep in the library. As he looks over his great desk, you see a figure in oh-so-familiar red robes looking up and speaking to the deity, telling of a great plan. And you see this image repeat, these cloaked figures wearing red all over the globe speaking to the five gods in many different instances. It's clear that they all didn't accept one after another. It took time to sway them. You see that the War of the Gods, while initiated by War herself, first unleashed onto Nexus, was stoked by this larger cosmic being, covered in eyes, ever watching, carefully maintaining a balance, but always ensuring that she was the one that pulled at its threads. You also see the end of the war. You see a beautiful human man who you had seen in your visions before standing next to Ashur or Karak always guiding the humans before him and you recognize Jacob Evening Star you see him speaking to the council that is comprised of each of the five gods standing on a small island amidst all of the continents that they have claimed for them themselves. You watch as Jacob Evening Star attempts to forge a peace between the gods until he is betrayed. Agents of the cosmic deity with eyes who you know now to be Celestia Enter the chamber under the guise of the followers of Karak and capture him, binding him in stasis and dragging him away. And then you see a vision that you were told of, a vision very similar to what Alva saw of this self same man, Jacob Evening Star, being dragged deep below the ground bound away in a place neither here nor there by powerful magics that were split into four amulets imbued with terrible cur curses and borne to opposite ends of the globe. And then your vision zooms out farther and farther and you see the true goddess undiminished holding the world in her two remaining hands watching with hundreds of thousands of eyes for the next thing to disturb the balance always with an agent close to each of the followers of the gods always keeping them at a remove you watch that Albus was a part of conduct an elaborate ritual to banish the human forms of the gods from this world to diminish their ability to impact its day-to-day -day affairs and you watch the world begin to forget as the agents of balance working tirelessly 
tirelessly throughout the ages obscured misinterpreted every piece of information they could get their hands on and then a searing pain splits the back of your head open and you snap back as you fall to the ground out of the bed seizing violently <laughs> you come to as you bite your tongue blood filling your mouth and you gasp for air rolling over and spitting it out your mind reeling with things it has never known and recontextualizing everything it has gods are not the creator of this world. They merely peopled it. They merely let them. Holy shit, Leona's right. <laughs> Holy shit, Leona's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's been right this whole fucking time. That's insane. So... I need to know if I'm creaking trains right. So there was like big eye god. OG god. I ignore my horrible drawing. But he it pulled out a, a part of itself and created two big gods? It no, it diminished itself to create a second. To create okay, and then and then when the second one tried to change something, it killed the second one, basically. Split it into five. Okay. Uh, Adelante was not here for this revelation, but you would all be able to put together the, the pieces that that god was more than likely Carthulos. Mm. So, okay, so big god Celestia, little god Carthulos. Well, Carthulos be... split into war. Yes. Uh, Ashuri, Karak. I'll, I'll, here, I'll draw a flowchart, shall I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we need yeah. flowcharts. No, I, I get, I get it now. Celestra, Celestia turns into Carthulos. Carthulos turns into war. Ashur, Karak, mentor. And the fifth one. Journey. Journey. Okay. And War wants to become Carthulos again. And for reasons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like the only one who doesn't want that is Mentor. <laughs> Or at least, like, it feels like it's more of a mid-ground for a shirt now. Am I thinking about this the wrong way? I think the only one who did want it originally was War. Yeah, but I feel like now it's more of a... It feels like mid-ground. It's like there wasn't a lot of... There wasn't a lot of definitely don't do this in that vision. Well, there was, like, a battle between the gods. It was sort of yeah sort of triggered by Elvis's group in order to restrain the gods mm -hmm. to bring back, back about balance yeah watching the watchers a, ma a manufactured balance for the purpose of Celestia maintaining power what you don't know is what started the disagreement Celestia and Carthulos. Yeah, because up until that. that point, they were equal creators and collaborators in making the world. Yeah. And then Carthulos tried to change something. Celestia did not very much like that. So she killed. Them. Hey, congrats on being the first person in any of my games to use divine intervention successfully. Yeah. 
Really? In like five years, this is the second time I've seen someone successfully roll divine intervention. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it happened one time in in my first group's game because my cleric, dark cleric, tried it every opportunity she got after. <laughs> Well, look at that. I, I, I did the thing. You did a thing. The only other time I've seen it, we were saved from drowning. Yeah. Like, we were gonna, like, drown and get eaten by a giant leviathan. And then someone rolled the Divine Intervention and, like, a mesh that gush of water, like, pushed us to the surface. Last time that happened to me, uh, a dragon melted us. But we came back to life. <laughs> Wish spell. Because of there, was a, there was magically a wish spell there. Mm -hmm. Um. So, Adelante, I'm not sure what you do after that. But, I feel like uh, I go up on the deck and I like see where it, where Kaylin is, and I go, like, "You might want to come in. Here. <laughs> you might want to like come in here. We got a lot to talk about." All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a perception check to see if I can see that you just had a seizure. How well did you uh, insight. Up? Okay, I'm, well, my insight is also minus one, that's so that's ten. Let's see if you were better. Haha. Just a little bit of blood coming from one of her ears. Just a little mm. bit. All right. We fall. Mm. What's up? Well, uh, kind of a big thing. Uh, and then I guess I just, like, run it down, that whole thing, right? And I'm just like... It's so... Where I come from, or, like, where I stand, I'd say we go and bring this guy. Um, probably a good deal. He seems to not be evil. Uh... <laughs> I mean, he seems to be sort of the direct servant of Ashur and Harad. Yeah, uh, very good idea to do this. It seems like our best bet at peace and the happiness and everything that we could possibly want. Um, so we're... He's the one that we're unsealing the amulets. Yes. Okay. Well then. Where I are guess. you? Oh. Oh wow. Sorry, I need to recover from that. Um. My question is, why didn't Mentor want him free? If he seems to be peaceful. Maybe Mentor was part of the team that wanted to return his cup to us. Maybe. I, I couldn't tell you. It's just... It's yeah, just there's happening. a lot missing about who was on what, what side of the argument. I just... Uh, that's... Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a... It's strange. But I would say that we keep going. I, I think that's probably our best, our best thing. I think, I think that's what we should do. Yeah, freeing Jacob and finding out what he wants to do from there. I think I will try to talk to all. You know, probably a good idea. <laughs> It's um, not likely to work, but get her opinion would be great. Maybe she doesn't want us to free Jacob and I have to kill all of you. <laughs> um, let's not do that. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh, everybody. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Don't worry. But no. I don't usually kill my allies. Yeah. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> don't worry, I wouldn't kill someone just because we're told me to. This is really awkward now. Is it? Kind of, but you just said you would kill us all. I said I might kill you. <laughs> I don't think I'd kill you all. Mage could you... probably kill me very just. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know if you could pull it off. But uh, you are kind I of think I could kill Koo, and that's about it. Okay, maybe. And may maybe if you don't summon your archer spirit thingy. Actually, you're, you may be in that push-up competition. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I feel like I have a good chance. I like my odds here. Don't worry. If I'm going to kill you, I'll let you know. I'm not the yeah. backstabby type. We'll, we'll, one be, we'll 1v1. Yeah, honorable jewel. Yeah. Um, pistols. Ten step or ten faces. Yeah. Turn and fire. As you guys are talking about honor, you hear this the loud sound uh, of a toilet being flushed, and Lana goes, Poof. "Nobody go in there." <laughs> and that goes that, across the ship. And that feels like a good break for the session. Anyway, and I just like walk past you. <laughs> All right. That probably took. Most of the day to relive that thousands of years of knowledge on Alante. Yeah, that's um, probably like ninety percent of my whole day just there in the boat. So we're going. So I'm going to move the ship, and unless there's specific things you guys would like to do in the night, uh, we'll move to the next day. Hell yeah. All right, uh, would all of you like to roll your stat check increase yeah. for this day? Everybody is a DC 13, flat D12. Why? Fell asleep? Oh, buddy. I thought you... Oh, my. Two, you're going to pass. Kaylin and Mage are not going to, nor is Adelante. What the fuck? All right. At least the net ones were for that. Yeah. Uh, all right, you guys continue to sail heading towards the deepest parts of the ocean. Uh, at one of the points during the day when everyone is above deck, you all feel a frisson in the air that you recognize. And there is a loud sound of trumpets blaring oh, that you this heard. This fucking guy. I'm before. pulling out my fucking axe. Um, from the sky falling down, crystallizing from blue and white power, is a multi winged angelic figure holding a sword of blue fire. This dick. Hmm. As they alight down on the deck, you see their feet touch and scorch, blackening the wood. And in a loud voice, they call out, You who have disobeyed the words of Mentor, your quest for knowledge shall be dangerous. One of you 
holds forbidden information. <laughs> Step forth or be found. Oh, All right. Oh Is he saying this in common? Yes. Are my nuts right. big? Let's. I'm just gonna point at him with my axe. Mage is gonna step forward. I'm just gonna point at him with my axe and shout. All right, cunt. What side are you on? <laughs> Life side. That's so fucking generic. Step forth now. I, I did. I'm right over here. Uh, turn around. I'm behind you. Uh, you watch as one, one of the three heads swivels to face down towards you, mage. Um, and it peers at you with eyes of white fire. <laughs> uh, can you roll me an intelligence saving throw, please? Oh. You feel your mind uh, grasped by a massive force. Uh, however, the book of your life story is locked tightly. You are no servant of gods. No, that would be me. Well, I gotta step forward not too. really a servant, but... We're all doing it. I gotta step forward, too. No, no, no. Shut up. Go back. <laughs> Mage is like scooting their head back. Go back, go back, go back. All go right, back. I, I, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll just, I'll just stand here and not say anything. I'll see how this plays out first. What knowledge you have gained. To what end will it benefit? Hundreds of thousands will die should the war restart. Nothing is worth this, so saith my god. That's kind of the problem. Oh, I, I apologize. Mage looks around. Is your god here? For one of such intellect, you are strangely unformed. The nature of your creation is a interest to my lord, but you are not the one I have come here for. Paladin, seer, servants of my siblings. What do you hope to gain? I'm looking at the one thing. Hi. Fuck. Priest Fuck. lady time. Put on your big priest lady pants. <laughs> uh, and I just like sort of like grit my teeth and I just go, oh, whatever. <sighs> Game. Well, I guess what I'm looking for is something that you seem wholly unwilling to fight for. Something you lost so long ago that you just don't care for anymore peace and to be whole again and to end this, this suffering that we experience now hundreds of thousands will die that's already happening can't you see that the war of men is nothing so the war of men is nothing so what you seek to be is selfish you want to preserve what you have and screw everything else. Nothing else matters. I wish to preserve my master's vision. The life that exists now 
does so with his guidance. You seek to preserve complacency. That's what you want. Suffering and heartbreak and famine and war and death, all of this, you want to keep it around the same way it's been for years. For what? Power? So you can stay in your gilded palace, your godly forms. That's what it is, isn't it? Greed. Yours is the god that promises paradise. Mine promises knowledge. Enough to see beyond the past. If the past. this is the, the route you would take, you will be tested sorely. Well, I'm not afraid of tests. Then let you experience a taste of what you have unleashed on the world. Something from a time before even you. Mr. Angel. Mage raises their hand. Excuse me. Student of knowledge, speak. Um, so I, I've crafted this spell, you see, um, that allows me to create a pocket dimension. If we could take this entire encounter into the pocket dimension so that Mr. Captain Laskalar's ship is no longer damaged, uh, that is burdening him, and we are merely guests aboard, including yourself. It is simply uh, respect for the captain. It is you all who do not respect the lives of the humans of this world. This will be a part of your lesson. You talk about not re respecting, but you're not going to fight us yourself. You are not my enemy. Really? And yet you stand here on the deck of this ship, antagonizing us for wanting to save the world, wanting to preserve the life you speak so highly of that your god sees. the life of this world is preserved balance at any cost is held you wish to disrupt her the world will burn before she releases it it's not balance what you wish to preserve is your own your own Bullshit peace. Your short-sightedness will be forgiven in this. Though you have touched the knowledge of ages, you may experience it in my domain, in my master's domain. Your invitation awaits at the sanctuary if you pass the test. You have been warned, mortals. You will not see me again. And you watch as this thing begins to grow brighter and brighter and starts to lift once again back into the air. Parting shots? Uh, yes. <laughs> if only I could steal something from him. I just uh. love. I don't suppose he has an arm weight or anything on his butt. Yeah, and Adelante like watches him sort of like grow and rise and she just goes and make sure you tell your make sure you tell your god that I'll keep fighting for this world no matter how much it takes, no matter how much heartache and how much pain that you can throw at me. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Misguided child. Oh. I'm not misguided. I'm just guided by something better. Well, that's one way to interpret what you saw. That's what she would say, though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm better than you. Just look at Atlanta. I think we know what team he was on. Mm, yep. That's definitely, that's definitely what that was. Oh, I can't wait to come. His chicken wings off. His chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I wonder if you deep fry him and sell him as a delicacy to someone. Well, sorry, Captain. Well, at least he said he wouldn't mess with us until we got to shore. Well, no, he said that he would mess with us along the way, and then when we got there, too. Oh, I interpreted that as once we get there, we'll face the test. No, the invitation to visit Mentor will be waiting for you at the Sanctuary, if you survive the test. Yep. Um, but we have <laughs> we're drinking, we're marrying, we're marrying, we drink. <laughs> drink up, me hearty <laughs> show. I don't, I don't, don't want to play that drinking game again. <laughs> that was torture. I guess we're gonna have to expect some real shit to be hitting, like, fast. Yep. Captain, uh, apologies. It's going to get significantly bumpier than, our, than it has already been. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, joy. Don't you love us? Hoist the colors! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> and I, <laughs> I wish I could have like a custom flag on this boat. <laughs> I mean, you you can start sewing something. Yeah. I would I would love to sew one in the in the form of like a, the golden mountain. Ooh. What if it was a mixture of that and the war, and war symbol? <laughs> Listening to this makes me want to play Sea of Thieves so badly. <laughs> That would be, actually be really cool. I think of that. Note to self. Start working on that. <laughs> Leona, you don't know how to sew, do you? What, because I'm a woman? I am one too. So? Sexist. Me too. And Koo's one too now. Yeah, but I knew how to cook before this anyway. Who said anything about... Okay, anyway, do you know how to sew or not? I'm uh, sure, yeah, I'm good at basically everything. What the fuck? So then why did you put up... Why did you put up a fun? Because I just think the assumption is hurtful. It's true. Well, I, I wasn't gonna ask consider. Mage. You ask Mage? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. What if she assumed you could sew because she knows you did everything? That's true. I assumed that you could sew because you're very capable. But you didn't say that. And very pretty. that. This is one of those you're changing your motivation after you did the thing. No, I just think that a, a pretty lady like you with such nice clothes might have made some herself. Speaking of motivation, this is beginning to get good. Can't wait. Yeah, I mean, talk about getting to some shit. I've been through some rough spots before, but I mean, fuck. Oh, God. I'll just look at Adelante. Did you tell anyone else what you saw? No. Should you? Probably not. Uh, it probably is best that it uh, dies with you and me if <laughs> and that happens. Hold on, what? There's information that's not being what? shared? What are you holding out on? Really I have no, no idea that why you told to, specifically that me. That thing just tried to brain fry mage. I'm not sure you want that to happen to you. Sure I did. Yeah, I did. I didn't see anything. Well, he did something. He's staring at him. He's staring, staring at me. He's staring well, at all of us. I mean, a lot of people stare at, stare at Mage because Mage stares at them. Okay, well... I don't know if it will hurt you all mentally. But it didn't hurt him. Uh, sure, I guess I can tell you. If, you're, if you have to tell me that you're 100% sure you want to hear. I want to hear it. Fuck yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna do this shit blind. Mage, uh, get a notebook! Mage, Mage, I'd imagine you'd want to copy this down. This sort of disproves your whole theory, Leon, though. Are we studying oh, the Arcana? Well, I mean, it has to do with the existence Mage of the world. Mage, T-Pose is their way down. Oh, I'd yeah. imagine, I'd imagine uh, Arcana, uh, the existence of the world, kind of hand in hand, you know? 
by trying to trick me to take notes into dating magic. I mean, you don't have to. I wonder if this is I mean, like historical. Of the deities, I guess the god of knowledge and magic it would be the one that would be the most arcane. I see what you're doing. You're all lying to me again. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is one of those situations where we're like people that would never say that this is cool. We're trying to sell you on that it's cool. <laughs> I don't know. You're I trying to book the Martian where the physicists <laughs> talk about fast because physicists never use the word fast. We're, we're, we're trying to sell you on your own special interest. Hey, bud, th look, it's a train. Hey. <laughs> look, there's, there's, there's magic. Ooh, ooh. I mean, it did have enough prevalence to, like, bring an angel, a really strong angel at that. Magic, certainly. That and... wasn't interested in me true but if you know it then they would be interested in you i don't know it, it looked at you i mean caleb adelante was right it was staring at you so was that elderly woman from the market maybe she was oh, yeah. too. She, she wanted to be really annoying <laughs> she wanted to be friends with you <laughs> 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 a bigger lie was never <laughs> Well, yeah, it's because of the, the whole thing, like what mage thinks friends do. <laughs> but you pass on the knowledge of your vision. Yeah. World created by Celestia, peopled by her and Carthulos, ruled over by the split five gods and driven to war by the agents of balance. Yeah. That was pretty fucking awful. So I guess we're gonna kind of fuck that up? Yeah. Essentially. Breaking a balance. Fuck it up. Breaking I mean... a balance that isn't really balanced and goes wholly towards one person's power. Yeah, surely there's a reason. That the gods should become one again and do something with it. Is this like a form of regicide? Patricide? That's the one. The deicide. Yes, that de one. Well, technically, we're not killing anybody. Do you well, really I'll think work. we're not going to kill anybody in the course of this? <clears throat> I put my head up. I've God. killed loads of people. Yes. We're not going to kill a god, we're forming them into one, unless that counts as the yeah. five die. Well, like, what are they going to do when they form? Are they going to yeah. fight Does that kill the other off one? The previous well, one? I don't know. They're, they might come to an agreement, they might reconcile, they might kill each other, I don't oh, know. Oh, this, this definitely seems like a mission for revenge. Mm. Okay, fair, but still, like, who knows? I'm down for it. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I can't see another way. Then to keep going well like i said jacob is sort of the key to all this jacob might not want to reform all the gods i don't think he would listen well we'll see what he wants to do when we find him yeah would it be possible for him to destroy them and take their place i don't know if we want to swap out five gods for one that wasn't that the whole, isn't that, like, the whole point of what we're doing? If we're going to reform them, then there'll be one. But if we get rid of all five of them and swap them out for Jacob, then... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that would even work. Because, I mean, he's technically human. Technically human, but it took the entire strength of... Um... Albus's group to seal him for eternity because he was so strong. Yeah. First, I mean, yeah, he was the first man, right? Hmm. The first man. Breathed in divinity and special yeah. beyond his measure, you know. Made of clay. Exactly. Wait, where'd you get that from? You. No. Yes. No, the, the, no, the priestess in the tower. Oh, right. Yours. 
Yep. Well, yes, made of clay, uh, forged in the image of Lewis and Celestia, but, you know. So they say he was made of clay in a day? Except Boom. Actually. On the roots. Um. What? Ex what? Travesty. Are we exactly avoiding? Drowning? Just just like the whole ocean. <laughs> Um, I mean, the world's not that horrible at the moment, to be fair. Not yet. Not yet. But what is this event that, that we are trying to subside? From the sounds of it, we're trying to undo what Albus's group did. Free Jacob, get his opinion on what's going on. Cause Why? He, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I, for one, would love to merge all the gods together and see the battle Celestia. That might be pretty cool. Is that not more of a naive or immature war? Oh, hundreds of thousands of people will die. That's... Have I met those hundreds of thousands of people? No. Mm. So simply because you do not have a face or name, the numbers do not matter. Exactly. I, I believe you are a coward, Kayla. Oh, sure. Interesting point. I've uh, probably indirectly caused thousands of deaths myself. You do know that, being part of the military. Mage is going to grip the hilt of their rapier, not like across themselves, just reestablish to themselves that it's there. Let me take it. So, uh, basically, I mean, we're trying to stop a massive catastrophe that would cause the similar amount of deaths. But anyway. what is this catastrophe? Well, think about it. We had, well, from what, well, from what I've been told, an escaped which who likely is planning on doing probably much the same thing we're doing in the opposite direction. A vampire who pro probably is working for said other being. That is true. They were trying to keep him closed in. You think he was trying to use his power? It can't be a coincidence that that vampire was located in the same place as the you know, the mental portal thing. Why would we not stop at simply gathering the amulets? Well, that's a choice that we make once we do end up there. Does it have to? Who knows if more information can be gleaned along the way? Hopefully. Your desire to involve ourselves with your gods is rather selfish. You would call that. But aren't the gods selfish for always wanting to involve us in their works? So because the gods do it, it is in our right to do it ourselves. Yeah. Isn't that our issue with them right now? Yes. That, well, like... You do not simply Mentor speak... wants us to stay by. Like you said, we get the amulets and we just don't do anything. Your god wants us to get them. Kalen's wants... Just... What? Form into one Follow one this guy. The win. Um, you were there in that... Alternate dimension when we rescued Tarmac, and you saw those eyes in the sky. Yup, didn't you think terrifying? That Did that feel like something you wanted in control of the moon? Mm. Universe. 
By the way, uh, I it seemed all that pretty now. pissed. Definitely it seemed a very unhappy. That was uh, definitely Celestia, based on yes. what, what I saw earlier. Um, I think maybe it's, you know, like she'd be happy if she got like a vacation. I think it's more, it's more them trying to stop us was... from wresting her power over the world away from her. It's more like what it is. Hmm. I believe you are dancing into a very dangerous realm. And you are not oh, quite we... thinking of the complications that follow beyond this ripple. We by far danced it all the way through at this point. No. You have not. Warnings well, are usually the tip of the iceberg, Adelante. Well, I'll say one thing. For sure has shown me a path, and I seek to follow it, whether you not, whether you want to or not. That is your own discretion, of course. Your god has showed you the path. The same god that resides among the circle that you wish to disrupt. Exactly. Not everyone is happy in the circle. Not everyone is happy being complacent. Mm -hmm. Then what gives us the right to disrupt? What gives anyone the right to overhold it? So that is your counter argument. Well, isn't it said like stagnation is bad? You think five, five of us can take on the goods. No, but we can certainly start changing it. We can damn sure die trying. I think five of us can free Jacob Evening Star. That's what I think. That's exactly what I think, too. Yeah. Good way to get the avalanche started. I just worry, like, to quote Adelante, I can't believe I'm agreeing with Mage, but if, the, if that's the tip of the iceberg, it's godly beings that could what did you say fry our minds yep are we sure that we're ready to open that particular mage is going to shove the thematic compass against ku's chest uh, uh, oh. look for your sisters ku uh before mage does anything does Mage have any of the amulets? Yes. Mage has one of the amulets. So I just say the, their name? Look for your sister first. Separate the object from myself. Right. And attune to it. You will think of their names. And you shall point into the closest manageable way to contact them. Because I refuse to follow the orders of those who wish to send us to our deaths because they have nothing left to fight for. Kaylin's okay, gonna hold out her hand. May I please have the amulet you're carrying before you go wherever you're going to go? I am going to arrive at the temple. I'm going to finish our mission and gather the rest of the ambulance. It's with or without us. For that much, I know our goals align.
Okay. Save the cards for later. Nah. Sure. I'll just turn and look at the other. I'll play cards. Sick. Let's go below. Excuse me, Bruin. I'm just sorry. Uh, should make a below deck? <laughs> well, this is a day off. Yeah, uh, don't care. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Kicks in the door. Can't just shit retreat. You gotta go to school nine till three, five days a week. What's that? You gotta run the ship? No. School time. No, it's the class time. Okay. Unless there's anything else people would like to do for today, who you made you unattuned to the amulet, who you've been you unattuned to the boots and attuned to the amulet. Mm -hmm. The compass. Compass, my apologies. Thank you. I wanna to talk to the uh, okay. Let me just establish who who are you going to try and locate. Uh especially like I said initially, I am going to try and look my sister First, Zana Coop, uh, Zana Poche. Okay. Zana Kuposhek. <laughs> I almost said Kuposhek. I'm so used to saying the full name of Kuposhek. My sister, Kuposhek. <laughs> My other sister, also Kuposhek. <laughs> Our mother wasn't very good at naming. <laughs> Uh, okay. It spins, and you watch as it orients on the form. Uh, I believe Mage has Amulet 4, yes? Um, the uh, plane shift slash dimby plane form? Yes. Okay. Uh, it uh, spins until it points towards Mage's person, following them around uh, through door of the cabin. Strange. Uh, and what did you want to ask? What did you want to talk to Liana about, Kaelin? This whole thing comes of like seven months. You have daughter, right? Uh, adopted, yeah. Um, uh, Arabelle. Nice. You. This one having twos. Say again, your Discord was a little bit. Oh, I was just, just saying, do you have any twos? Go fish. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she hands you she hands you three twos. Alright, um do you have a way to get back to your world in here? Uh no, not per se. I wound up here mostly on accident. I thought you mentioned You mentioned something like 
that you're not trying hard enough to go back. Yeah. Just you know, pretty soon you might want to go back. Not that I don't like having you here, but it sounds like fire is about to start raining from the sky. Yeah, um, it's hard to know who to believe, because Adelante seems very set, but it also, I don't know. It, it's hard to, to guess who's right, if right can even be used in this situation. I... As far as I know, uh, Adelante's powers are very accurate. Extremely accurate. Sort of why I drank myself into a stupid yesterday. And uh, once we free Jacob, I have no idea where it's going to go from there. It's just, I like you and don't want to see you get hurt. Yeah, I, I do think, I mean, if you guys are really going to fight some gods and stuff, as much as I would like to be around to see that, but I don't know that, that there will be room for me there, especially if you guys find and free, you know, Jacob. It sounds wrong just referring to him by his first name, it's like a, you know, immortal man made of clay calling him just Jacob sounds wrong nothing uh, wrong with the name Jacob no yeah just a little unassuming I guess um, anyway the, I, what I was great name say is, strong name yeah, <laughs> if you do find him I think I'm gonna ask the old super power -y guy to see if he can send me home that might be my best safest way out of here and before the, the avalanche or whatever you guys were talking about starts are we I'm... going to a mountain I missed that where's the avalanche coming from no it's like a, a metaphor for like oh. it's gonna start snowballing you know the time snowballing it's a really small one. just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger eventually and yeah, then it hits you in the face because it's been flying at you, that's why it's getting bigger. And you're like, vision. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, if you're gonna wait until after we free Jacob to decide to go home, um, I don't think Mage wants us to free Jacob. You're sort of there for that. And uh, some bad stuff might happen at that point when we reach that crossroads, so. by you all I'm gonna try and keep doing that um, and if I can't I can't but I, I'm not gonna turn on you guys this is less my fight than anybody else's so I can't exactly you know, pretend that I have the high ground and again what <laughs> divinity force <laughs> just go past that reference divinity <laughs> force Yes. It's the only game that both of them know. Look, we, I, we know that like little Warhammer 3D chess games. We don't know any of the pieces. They're very expensive. You have to make them out of paper. Oh no! A discount Warhammer table. All right. Um. With some slight discontent aboard the ship, we're going to progress the next two days, actually, journeying through the deeps, unless there's anything specific that people would like to cover at that time. Uh, I personally am 
I would like to uh, cast contact with the plane before we time slip. Sure. Uh, ritually casting it. Okay. Looking for my sister Zana potion. What? What? With what are you attempting to contact? What plane? Or uh, what contact are you trying to reach? Um, probably something from the Feywild. I forget what the greater thing are called. Archfey? Archfey. Yeah, okay. Do you reach out towards uh, the Feywild, the plane that lies directly above the material plane? Uh, give me a uh, intelligence saving throw. Ooh, you know what I want to use? Oh, dear. Once per session. Hey! Mm-hmm. All right, with a 19 you save, you do not take any psychic damage and are not insane. You contact a seemingly sleepy mind that acknowledges your contact with a flick of thoughts that taste like glitter. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Is that glitter? <laughs> yes. Oh. Sorry, this is the first time I've casted that. I Did that count as a question? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> oh, I, I apologize. Am I disturbing you? <laughs> Irrelevant. Oh. Uh, I apologize again. Uh, do you know much of the inhabitants of the Feywild? Yes. Do you have a question? Zana This last question is going to be a fucking doozy. <laughs> You've been saving it. You were like, I got one good question to ask, so I need to burn the other four. <laughs> baby. Also, I want to say I love this bit. It's the best bit ever. Take inspiration. <laughs> it's the funny. It's the funniest D&D bit. I... I already have a point of inspiration, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> shame. Um, up to five questions. So if I make it a runoff sentence, it counts. <laughs> there are various Don't... beings who are able to travel the plains beyond our own. It is this I inquire a question upon you, Archfey. I am looking for one known as Zena Poshak, whom is the sister to Ku Poshak. Does she reside upon this plane of existence that you occupy yourself? Though you stretch your mind trying to maintain the co the connection, it begins to grow tenuous, not unlike static on an old TV. Uh, and there is a swirl of warm wind around you, and then the spell ends. Mage pinches their temples. You know do what? it again, do it again. I do believe she's in the Feywild, Coo. You have some place to go when you're done. <sighs> so hold on yeah. to that hope, all right? I will. Oh, wow. Cab! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and she's going to very oh, happily, no. happily walk towards the alley and start getting... Dinner oh, made. The compass. Oh, ah, oh, sorry. Uh, she'll happily hand that back. 
Thank you. It's glad she's all right. <laughs> hey guys, anything you want for dinner? Uh, some sixes. I'm not familiar with that. Oh, oh, my bad. Walk downstairs, say literally nothing, and just like sit down, like, <sighs> and like sigh, like, deal me in for the next one. You're playing again. Can you play Go Fish more than two players? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can? Okay. It's okay. it's War, the other game that you know that you can only play with two players. And I told- Kaylin begged me to play War, and I, I told her I, 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 I hate that game. Can we play that other game where we punch each other in the face? Is that like... Well, we don't have the pieces for that, but we can punch each other in the face. Just take turns. I mean, it's not as fun that one. Rock, paper, scissors, a loser gets punched in the face. I mean, I'm down. Best of one. Best of one? Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Alright, type your thing in chat. And when Nate says go, you go. Uh, I'm gonna play rock. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, type your thing in chat. When Nate says go, press enter. Alright, I'm gonna count it off on go. Not on one, on go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Fuck. You dumb bitch, you really thought that was gonna work? I would punch you in the face now. It never works, but I keep doing it. <laughs> one day it'll work, when it's really <laughs> important. How do I roll for the punch, huh? I'm just rolling just straight just strength. Fucking roll strength. I'm not gonna dodge, so just fucking wait. roll. This damage, I guess. I can't wait till you till you meet mentor and you're like, look, I'll rock paper scissors you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play the rock. god of knowledge. And because <laughs> I'm and I uh, fucking hit. Because you're the god of knowledge. She always plays rock, and that's when I play paper. Boom. Oh wait, then, we, then then we then we tie because we both play paper. Could I play it? Could I have rolled that as athletics, or did it have to be strength? Just. Just what's your strength? I'm not dodging. That's 17. So you take so that'd four be damage. Four damage. I just punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I needed that. No, that's fair. Um. All right, so we're gonna progress three days worth of uh, traveling through the deepest parts of the ocean. Can I get uh, rounds? Of, yeah, can everybody roll me three d20? Oh, whoops, I rolled the one. I'll roll two more. Progress. Okay. Kaylin, you will progress on the first and third day, getting up to a DC 15. Adelante, you will progress on the first day, getting up to a DC 14. Mage, you progress on the uh, second and third day. No, yes, the second and third days, getting up to a DC 15. And Ku only progresses on the first day, but also gets to a DC 15. So it's 15, 15, 15, and Adelante at 14. Really? Also, on this third day, you encounter the test that Mentor has set before you. You can all see when you wake that the ocean is deathly still, flat, like glass. And as you meander about deck, you can see that in the distance far to your south, there appears to be land masses. But when you check the map, there is 
nothing to be seen. Consulting with Captain Lascalar, you all realize that what the phenomenon that you are seeing is known as a tsunami. A wave hundreds of feet tall rushing towards you. Oh, from awesome. miles distant. Can everyone give me a perception check? I don't think that's going to be very good. Oh, that's not a very, very friendly test. <laughs> Mage is looking in the other direction. What are we looking at? <laughs> Mage, Caleb, and Ku all look at the wrong portions yeah. of this massive, mile-long, wide uh, uh, wave. Adelante, you see something in the water swimming before the wave, the tsunami, which is revealed not as a true wave, but as a wake behind this massive creature. As a seer from old, you have been told many stories of the ancient times, but there's one that sailors of even today still tell of a massive beast that consumes ships and sailors as it passes. And as it races towards you, you all see the Kraken breaching waves and water as it unearths itself for the first time in hundreds of years. Crack it what? A cold one, and it's our soul. <laughs> As it raises up out of the water, you see the massive tsunami break across its back, splitting around your boat as it raises its head out of the water and menaces your boat with several hundred foot long tentacles. Fuck. Everyone. Please roll the initiative. Can we this get is your fight? first test of the gods. Can we get pirate fighting music? Yes, you may. Uh... I like the way you said first. I did say it was going to be quite sore. Did they fuck us up right hard? Huh? Where am I? What am I doing? Captain! <laughs> Captain! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I'm, gonna use my, I'm gonna use my regular inspiration. No, I'm not. No, I ain't. No, uh, uh, now or never. No. no, I should save it for something more lethal. True. <laughs> Fucking size of the boat. Alrighty. Let me pop open this sheet here. God. Uh. I will roll for the captain, but uh, he and the crew are going to be uh, 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 on all on the same turn. Yeah. Uh, th that said, uh, you watch as this massive thing pulls itself out of the water and begins to swim towards your boat. And Lyanna screams in terror. Uh, seeing this thing, she is going to do the only thing that she knows is good in almost any situation, and she raises her staff of fire and is going to try to blast 
this creature with it. Which, because of its massive size, does not succeed on the save. But it also looks barely harmed by this gout of fire that shoots out towards it. Oh, good lord. This is fucked. <laughs> uh, she's gonna, gonna take, fuck it, everybody who doesn't have reason to fight, get below deck! Kaylin. Hmm, it's not in melee. My greatest fear. I shall bonus action, shield of faith. Okay. And... Fuck. I guess I, I just gotta... I don't have many range sticks to jab on. You do have Ruin now. I do. But do I want to fly on top of the ocean? One tap and drown. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna step forth and take the dodge action. Okay. Because uh, holding an attack only gets you once. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, I'm holding you... an attack. I'm holding okay. an attack, because it's probably going to try to grab. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Ruin will stand next to me and <laughs> hold an attack to you. Okay. Uh, you uh, with your axe, I assume, too. right? Yep. Main axe. Okay. Uh, Adelante, this thing is charging towards the boat. Before your turn, it uses a legendary action to move much great. closer. Not great. <laughs> Not great. Um, okay. You see it is half in and half out of the water. It's head and shoulders breaching up and then the mass of tendrils squirming up around both sides of the boat as if it is underneath your ship. Hmm. I wonder if I could do this, or if it would not work out. I'm trying to think. Fuck. Can I pop this thing out of existence? Can I banish this thing? Is that a thing that works on? <laughs> You can try. Mm -hmm. I guess it's worth a fucking shot. Are you worthy? Watch this. <laughs> or I'll try and I'll try and banish it. Why fucking not? I guess I don't know. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I guess I'll try and do a thing to him. All right. You. The last out. What does I mean? What does this banishment look like as you cast it? Mm. I guess it looks like the formation of like rock around it in like a golden, like like a golden mountain shape. Like it just forms like a pyramid around it, essentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I guess it tries to like close in on itself. Okay, it rolled a nineteen. And we'll use one of its legendary saves. Yeah, I, just, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna do that. Fuck. To choose to succeed, but you very nearly banish this thing as the golden mountain forms around it. There is a lashing from inside, and you watch as the mountain glows brighter and brighter and it shatters apart around this thing as it roars. Is that your turn? Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. I, I don't really have bonus actions that I can do. So I guess so. Okay. At the end of your turn, for two 
legendary actions. Captain Lescar it's runs eyes away. and eyebrows spark with lightning, and three bolts come down from the sky. Mm. One at Kaelin, one at Adelante, and one at Ruin. Deck saves from the three of you. Okay, all three of you are going to fail and take 18 lightning damage. Uh, Captain Lascar is going to give the wheel a spin, realize that the ship is in this thing's grips, and start fucking pelting for below decks. Let's do the other two. Kuposhak. <laughs> Pull the gat. <laughs> Pull the gat. This is when he pulls his big iron out. He's just got a fucking huge fucking big iron. You know, some people call me Laskilar, but other people call me Dr. Reverend Hooch. <laughs> one shot. Sorry, Laskilar, there's not a good ending in that one. Alrighty. Do you think Laskalar has a good, good ending in this campaign? <laughs> I believe he does. It's it's not going well for him so far. <laughs> uh, getting as much as this as I can as I whip out a fucking be beautiful little orb of energy to explode in a glittering flurry of fucking lights and color on its head. Hypnotic pattern. Wisdom saving throw. That is a 29. Sheesh. I tried. Sheesh. She Sharuski. Shuffle to the mast. A little bit of cover. A little bit of cover ski. A little covered letter. That is, that is me. All right. Then we will go to Mage, standing amidst the scorched, blackened part of the deck. I'm going to cast Mage Armor and use a bonus action for my blades. So... All right. Right. On this thing's turn, it is going to swim partially under the boat even further. Can't actually put it under the boat, but it drawing close will proc Kaelin, Ruin, and Mage's attacks of opportunity. Uh, I'll s well. Oh, you Kaylin didn't. You couldn't prepare. Sorry. Kaylin held her action. To yeah. Attack. Sorry, I just thought you also took your your hail, held action to attack. No, I just I misremembered. Uh, and nineteen will hit. Put a little too smart on that. Win. Very nice. Uh, in rune, just gonna slash. 14. Uh, that is going to miss. It glances off the natural armor of this thing. But your radiant slashing and necrotic all bite deeply into this creature. Your magical axe seems to hurt it, punching through scales that would resist any normal blade or weapon. In retaliation... It is going to try and tentacle all three of you. First at Ruin with a 30. Mm-hmm. That's going to be 25 bludgeoning damage. 
and Ruin is grappled and lifted off of the deck. Kaelin, a 33 to hit you with a tentacle. Yep. <laughs> For 21 bludgeoning, and you are grappled and lifted off the deck. Blade right into my hand. Mage, a 35 <laughs> to hit you. Mother of God. For yeah. 17 bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. And lift it off of the deck. And then we'll go back to Lyanna. Uh, who is going to... Say... I don't... I have no fucking idea if this is gonna work! But... Put them down, you big fucking thing! <laughs> uh, she's going to try and suggest this creature to put the three of them down. Please, God, no. Don't uh, put me in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Whip so off into the distance. With a wisdom save of 14. <gasps> oh my god! It will choose to use a legendary resistance no! to save against Lyanna's spell and oh. maintain its grip over the three. Kaelin, you are held uh, about 20 feet above this thing's head, which is in turn another 15 feet above water. I'm just gonna, you know, hit the tentacle that's grappling me. It's in my range. Okay. Just gonna do big damage, hopefully. Hell yeah. 18 and 14. An 18 will just hit, but a 14 is going to scrape off. All right. Chuck another level 2 smile. Okay. 35 on that one. Uh, you burn and blacken, chopping deep into this tendril, but it is thicker around than you are. <laughs> uh, ruin... I uh, can't really pierce this thing, so it's going to try to break out of the grapple. Just okay. strength check. Athletics or acrobatics, whichever is better. Uh, it only has strength. So okay. Don't get in With 24. a fucking 24, Ruin more than breaks free of the grapple. Flexes its wings and... Whoosh. Hell yeah. Uh, so Ruin was uh, started 35 feet up in the air. Where would they like to go? They have their full movement. Uh... Just gonna try to go like under me. Like if it drops me, Ruin's gonna try to like yeah. see if I can land on it. Yeah, in the cannon, it's like attacking the the tent the tentacle that's holding you, but like yeah, under you. Yeah. Hurt it, yeah. Okay. You know, I know he's gonna die if he gets hit one more time, but you know, he's it's gonna try and catch me. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, with a legendary action, it tries a. Another tentacle slides across the deck towards Adelante. A 22. Yo, what the oh, fuck? fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Why did mine look like that? <laughs> yeah, I could have blocked a 22. <laughs> All right, with a 22, you take 20 bludgeoning damage and you are grappled and lifted up into the air. Hey guys, fancy meeting you here. But it's it your turn, Adelante. Twenty-two would have still hit me. Uh, <laughs> damn, we gotta get you some armor, friend. I have armor. I just don't use a shield, so. Uh, yeah. right. What am I gonna do here? If I you break do. out, I fall. <laughs> hmm. I'm still above the deck, though. <laughs> what can I do here? Fuck. I gotta I gotta wonder how many more of those um how many more of those things he's got. Tentacles? No, um <coughs> legendary resistances. It's hard to say. 
Mm. I know. It's sent I, by I the fucking, gods. I wish I fucking knew. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to... I guess I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him for this turn. This okay. Turn. I'll call it. Uh, I'll call it a fireball. I know. Okay. Where it won't hit me and the rest of them. <laughs> like back here, I guess. Okay. That won't get the shit beat again. Yeah. yeah. And we'll call it. If I can find the spell. Uh, we'll call it fifth level. Okay. That's not great. Okay, a 19 will fail. It will take the 27 fire damage. And, uh... You blast the thing, maybe a quarter of its tendrils are burned and scorched between you, Kaylin, and Lyanna at this point. Okay. It's got a big fucking gash on it, the top of its head scales where Kaylin slammed it that first turn. Okay. Captain Lascalar. Run. Run. The boys get below deck. Coop. Alright. Uh, Pattern doesn't seem to work. Hopefully, this will stun it, but it's still hurt. Oh, ignore the stink. That's not supposed to. Uh, Tasha's Mind Web. Intelligence save. That is a 21 to save. Damn. Half, half damage for 7 psychic. 7 psychic, okay. So, Are there any other effects on a save? Uh, would not. Okay. Are you good where you are, cool? Uh, yeah, I like being next to the mast. It's, you know, feel safe here. Yeah, well, keeping a I'm little glad cover. You feel, I'm glad you feel safe there. Uh, you are ducking back into the cover as you watch the tendril holding mage snap like a whip as it flings them at you. Uh, from where they are, it is a 30-foot distance. Uh, I need a dex saving throw from you to avoid being hit by mage. I feel like this is the second time somebody's gotten thrown by a boss. That didn't a 15 is not going to succeed. You are both going to take <laughs> 8 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and mage and Ku, you are both prone on the ground as you collide at high speeds. However, mage, you're no longer grappled. Hey! How's it going? Glad you're back. Mage, it's you. So his head is sticking up right out of the water. Yep. How far would his head be? From me? Uh, I mean, its head essentially is like next to the boat and spans maybe a, tw uh, a 10 foot like this, like it's like this big ish i would say its head is underneath caitlin cool i'm gonna misty step from being prone onto its head okay definitely obviously, difficult terrain there obviously uh standing um, i'm not planning on moving i'm planning on stabbing it as i lift my rapier and begin a series of stabbing <laughs> okay Both of those are going to hit for 19 and 17, respectively. Uh, it looks pretty hard. You stab at it near one of its large, well-protected eyes uh, and nearly pierce it with your sharp stabbing rapier. 
Uh, it bellows in pain. Do you do called shots? No. Okay. If you have, okay. if you're trying to accomplish something specific, we can do that, but it'll more than likely be an ability check rather than an attack. Okay. Um, Mage is gonna look up to Kalen. Let's aim for the eyes. Blind it. That'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, you are going to get the last of this thing's legendary actions as it tries to tentacle you uh, from where you stand on its face. A 26 to hit you. I am going to burn a handy dandy shield. Shieldy dealdy. To make it a 27. Hell easy. yeah! Best number for me to roll then. Um, biggest save. This thing coils around you and then shatters outwards as the blades of your blade song uh, shield cut deeply into it and it lets go with a yell. It is now its turn. As a, its action, it is going to create another lightning storm, calling down one towards Kaelin, one towards Mage, and one towards Adelante. Actually, no. One towards Lyanna, because she tried to spell it last time. Is the one thing me also going to hit Ruin? Uh, no, it only like targets target. a single creature. Yes. He target strikes the target, the crutch, the correct can see. Yeah. Um, so I need deck saves from Ru uh, Kaelin, Mage, and I'll do Lyanna's. I don't know if Mage is within 10 feet of me, like, I don't know how high up I am. No, but if you he are is... too high up. Okay. The. Okay, unfortunately, all three of you fail. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and are going to take 25 lightning damage. All right, let's see if I keep oh. my shield of faith that's not really doing anything. Yep. Blade Song doesn't require concentration. And we'll go back to Lyanna, who is going to copy Adelante. Actually, no, she's absolutely not going to do that. She's going to run over here so that she's within 30 feet of everybody. And she is going to mask your wounds. Uh, a wash of healing comes out as Lyanna sings out a, a three note tune. Uh, and everybody heals for 24. So it's only like the lightning bolt did one damage. There you go. Uh, and then she's going to say, Koo, get the fuck up! And give you a bardic inspiration. As she uh, is actually going to use her remaining movement to duck below deck. But just <laughs> still right on the stairs. Uh, we'll go to Kaylin. All right, uh, it, it's a whole action to try and break out of the group. Yes. Yeesh. I'm just going to look down the major and say, I'm a little busy, <laughs> and just keep hitting the tentacle that's grabbing <laughs> me. <laughs> 25. 25 is definitely going to hit. 17 is just going to miss. You know, to make up for that miss, I'm going to use my fourth level spell slot on this slide. Whoa. Not saving it for the crit, bolt. Hmm. Nah, I, I'm not gonna crit today, I reckon. That's still uh, oh. 44 damage right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> you can tell that one really hurts it. And you can tell this, because I believe is that that's the end of your turn. Uh, yes, Ruin's gonna... Everyone's going to land on its head and try to scratch its eyes. Okay. It is going to fling you as hard as it can uh, <laughs> 60 feet towards the rear of the ship. It 
you're gonna hit impact the mast here. Uh, and take Ouchie. uh six d six. Bludgeon eighteen bludgeoning damage. Holy shit! Ugh. As it flings you as a legendary action. That could have been deadly. You also land. Oh. Let's check if I keep my useless spell. It's it's it, you know it's helping a little. Uh, yep. Yeah, that still keeps it. It's ten percent more EC. Adelante. You are up in the air. Kayla just went sailing by you. Like, actually very, very close to you. Yeah, it's my action to get <laughs> out of this thing, yeah? If you would like to try, yes. Athletics yeah. or acrobatics. I am going to do a not that. Okay. You're going to dangle from this thing's uh, uh, limbs? A little bit longer. Yeah, a little bit longer. I'm glad that I got this spell over a different one. <laughs> So I'm gonna try it out now. Uh, we're gonna do symbol. Ooh. But the death version. <laughs> burn that. We'll burn that. Oh song. my fucking god. Damn. Uh, casting time one minute. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> god damn, you're right. This, so is like wanted... a, a, this is like a glyph of warning, basically. Yeah. So I, I wanted to suggest a rule of cool, and you, mm. you can say no because I was thinking about this. Burning a spell slot equivalent to shortening a spell by the minute. So for this spell slot, so for this spell, they would need to burn another seventh level slot to shorten it to a minute, uh, from a minute to an action. Oh, uh. uh no, where one, a first level spell slot would remove in a minute, a seven level spell slot would remove it in seven minutes. Oh, wow. Because I was thinking, because I have teleportation circle that's a 10 minute spell. Right. And I was thinking, would I be able to cast it instantaneously if I burned like an eighth level spell slot and a second level spell slot? Mm. I guess that's the benefit of a spell like Contingency. Which is essentially what you're saying. Another another spell to to make something spell for later. Late. Yep. Spell knowledge for later. Ouch. I really like that idea. I would like to talk about it more. I'm not going to institute it right at this moment. Shit. Okay. Then we walk back. <laughs> we walk that back, and I keep that one in my in my butt just in case. That's a uh, great one to prepare neck for the next time this kind of thing happens. Uh huh. Yeah. I just okay. Let's see. What's a good thing to do right now, currently? Um, I could do. Yeah, I'll do summon celestial. I'll get us a little bit of an extra thing to fight this with. Um. Well, the, what is it? Avenger is the one that has the, the melee, or is that... Uh, I forgot the name. Avengers with the bow, I believe. Avengers the bow. Well, I want the melee one. <laughs> I forgot the name. Uh, It'll be there when you paste it. Yeah. Um, defender. Defender. Maybe. There you go. Yeah, I want a defender. Okay. I believe you already have the token. Yeah, it's going to look the same, but it'll hit things instead of shoot them. Uh... Or do you know? Oh yeah, you do. It's, just, it's the bird. Yeah. Bird. Pa pa ta pa. And then it just goes right after me, yeah. So. Okay. I guess so. Cast it at level five so we can make two attacks. Twenty-seven. Uh, twenty-seven definitely hits. Sixteen radiant damage. Very nice. A slam into this thing, and you watch as this particular hit seems to send a shockwave of radiant through it, 
blood spurts from several not connected uh, uh, scales around this thing's head. Uh, actually, uh, like some even underneath Mage's feet. Uh, this creature is bloodied. Mm-hmm. 31. 31's also gonna hit. 16. 16 more. Alright. Uh, I'm up here. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm up here. That's it. You can, uh, you can also give another creature you can see within 10 feet 1d10 temporary hit points. Oh, I can? Oh yeah, fuck, yeah, I can. Read the attack. That's yeah. It's an that's an action. Yeah, it is. You can only do that if the um, multi attack included it. But the action oh. they chose was multi attack. Okay, that's fine. So well, I thought those were and then the other thing. Here. Oh, you're right. No, I'm sorry. I was looking at the healing touch ability. My apologies. Yeah, yeah it's just uh, on the attack when you hit. I yeah, think I'll give it, within I'll ten give it. feet of the target. Only so that would be that would that's only Ku's the only person within ten feet if it if yeah. you summoned it on the ground. Yeah, on the ground. Yeah, so then Ku, go get your let me roll that shit. <laughs> ten temp, baby. Give me that juice. How how auspicious, because guess who I was already planning to attack with the tentacle on this turn? Ah, was it me? <laughs> it was you! Uh, this creature, because of its gargantuan size, is in melee range with you, Koo. Yeah! Uh, 36 to hit your prone form. Holy how shit! High up, how high up am I off the ground? We're gonna uncanny dodge! Uh, 35. 35 and then another extra 20. Oh. That's in range, though. No. Can I try and do this for you? I guess? Hold on, I'm trying to see if this makes it 60. No, it makes it- it's only 30. No, you still get hit. <laughs> it would make what? No, 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 you still get hit. I was trying to see uh, if- Uh, 20 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, uncanny dodge that. Uh, was that okay. halved already? Or? No. Right. It would take half, so, uh, Eight. 10, but you are still going to be grappled. Hell yeah. And you are, as well, lifted into the air. Hey, 35 feet. Ku, you're upside down, just because fuck you. Um, it's your turn. It's because I said we, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. All right. I am... Restrained as well, I assume. No, just grappled. Just grappled. Oh, oh yes, you are restrained. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a huge ass creature. Yeah, no, it's also restrained. You guys shouldn't have been able to fucking. You guys oh. had. I should have been given di Kalen's disadvantage. <laughs> Alrighty. Really? Well, I mean, he's gripping it, it's so. A, it's, it, this is a slightly smaller. This isn't the real Kraken now, canonically. He was warming up. <laughs> well, I mean, as he grips it, you know, I'm gonna try and rip his uh, fucking tendril off as I just place my hands against it and lightning bolt down the fucking coil of his arm. Just the twenty. Uh, like, you just... watch the lightning crackle in and through it, and it seems to absorb it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, did you heal it? Please, no. Probably. You watch as the lightning seems to course over the scales, cauterizing its wounds. No way. Blackening the extruded blood into what looks like the beginnings of a fresh scale in many places. No, Ooh. he healed it. <laughs> Fantastic. God damn it, Crew Poshak. You ah. son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, God's sneak got. attack doesn't apply to lightning bolt. That would have been terrifying. Yeah, that would be pretty fucked up. That is me. Alrighty. Uh, as a legendary action, after your turn, uh, the annoying uh, uh, fire person that it has in its grip is going to get thrown at Mage. Yay. Poor mage, oh. I need a deck saving throw. We're both gonna end up on its head. Alright, a 22 will sit. 
Babe, you dodge out of the way. Adelante slams into the ground next to you for 13 bludgeoning damage. Ground being its head. Does it damage yeah. itself? <laughs> he just it. fucking throws it at his own head. Uh, it does not. You see that the non-magical bludgeoning uh, has no effect on this creature's ancient sh uh, uh, shell. Damn. If only you were wearing magical armor. I mean, I am. <laughs> uh, I do need a con save. Oh yeah, for the... Celestial. But do you need to roll damage first? She took 13. Oh. Oh. I just GM rolled it. Uh, so at 12 saves. Uh, and Mage, it is your turn. You're still standing on this thing's head. You're not prone. I'm gonna point to its eye, and uh, we need it to make a save. Oh my! Let's see, dexterity save. That is a nine. It will choose to succeed. <laughs> Damn. Forty. All right, Ignore that it, puts this thing back into bloodied. Uh, as you excavate a massive divot uh, on this side of its head and blood and scales pour off of it in a torrent disintegrating by your hand. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be its friend for the next five minutes. <laughs> That'll be my turn. Uh, okay. On its turn, it is going to dive down. What? Oh. Uh, -oh. <laughs> uh, it swims thirty feet down. Uh, uh dropping Adelante and Mage into the water. Good thing we're not that far away from the boat, right? Water Yay! combat rules 5e. Refresher, of oh, course. Yeah. If you don't have a swim speed, it's usually disadvantage depending on what. Disadvantage. Level. It's essentially being prone. half speed. Yeah. Half Ooh. speed disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's a good swim? Swimmy swims. I'm not. Just use the blue. I'm not prone in the water, right? Yes, like, you are. <laughs> I don't think you can be prone while in Yeah, water. I was going to say, I don't think that makes sense, right? Because I can't have, no, like, am I just no speed then? Because if that happens, it's, half, it's nothing. That's fair. It's like how f hovering creatures that can hover can't be prone. You're effectively hovering. Uh, um, we are going to, uh, unfortunately what this also means for Ku is that Ku, 15 feet above this thing, is dragged underwater 15 feet. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gets teared in half because his ring of water walking activates, so it, it tries to pull him <laughs> out. Oh, him. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I'm not wearing that right now. Um... What Eeny, would happen? Meany, miny. Water displacement. Uh, let's do a tentacle at the two people it can reach. Uh, Adelante, a 35, Mage, a 33. Well, yeah. yep. Uh, Adelante, you take 20 and are grappled and restrained and pulled oh. underwater. Oh, Mage, you oh. take 18. I also need a con save from Adelante. Uh, oh, I don't take that. Okay, and your celestial is going to out of existence. You said you went underwater? Nah, I'm good. Uh, and it's currently out of range of everybody else. <laughs> So we'll just it'll just suck it up for its last tentacle attack because it doesn't really want to throw Ku away, it wants to eat him. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so we'll go to Liana, who is going to come back above deck and go, where the fuck did it go? <laughs> uh, she's gonna run to the side of the ship here and look down. Uh, and she is going to, uh, uh, think, she's gonna think, uh, Um, have you stumped yourself here? I have, cause I I have an idea, but she has no way to communicate it. Just do it. <laughs> Ku, from above the water, you see Liana's face appear on the deck. She points her staff, not a fire, but uh, uh her uh, her offhand staff, uh, at you, and mouths words, and you feel pressure around your mind and body. Polymorph, oh shit. Turn Ku into a Kraken. I... I guess? <laughs> I feel like this is gonna hurt a lot more than it's gonna help. Do you, yeah. I mean, are, are you gonna resist? <sighs> you, you, out of, you might not know what this is out of character. I don't know what it is, but I trust Lyanna, so I'm just gonna let it happen. Okay. Um, I'm going to decide. Holy High shit. for big, low for little. Uh, Ku, you are turned into a tiny minnow. <laughs> breaking the grapple. I have no fucking intelligence. Lyanna, what the hell? Please make you like a shark or something. I know, right? I guess, I mean, it, it, it's, its scales are too thick to be hurt by anything. Yeah, that's magic, true. So it's fair. The main goal is get him away, yeah. either yeah. by making him big and popping it off. So it was whale or tiny thing. And she went she went tiny thing. Uh, I'll grab the just fish sheet for you, Josh. The yeah, fish. I... I I don't exist for the moment. What's funny is if she turned him into a whale, he would still drown. That's true. Because he, he didn't get longer. any. He didn't get any oxygen. Okay, Liana is concentrating <coughs> on a uh, polymorph of the tiny Kuposhak, who is a small fish afraid of the giant thing below it. Probably uh, 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 with a desire to swim upwards. Kaylin, you're prone on the deck. I'm gonna stand up. Looks like it gave up. <laughs> um, Nicole over ruin. And I guess I'm gonna have to main action dash so that I can use half my movement to get on ruin. And then I'm just gonna fly like above it. Probably like mm, forty feet above the water. Okay. I can't really do anything while it's underwater, so <laughs> I'm um, sitting above it. If it comes out, I'm gonna jump on it. But that's me for now. All righty. Um, can I get? A dexterity save from Kaylin, Ruin, and Ku Fish. Count it as a fail. There's <laughs> no fucking way yeah. that fish is making it. Okay. I mean, uh, I could try to roll it, but I very what's much. The, what I mean, is the bonus? The DC was like above. You? Above if the DC is above 20, I cannot physically oh, make it no. as a fish. Oh, no, okay. Then never mind. I can't make it as a fish. <laughs> and this, yeah, this is gonna fucking suck. The fish I the fish I gave you could succeed on a nat 20, but that's it. Um, okay, so you'll take this minus one damage then. Uh, as yeah, uh, Ruin and Kaelin both also fail. But Ku, you revert to yourself. Uh, under the water. (laughs) 
Alrighty. Shit's going down. Shit is going down. Question. Adelante. Answer. Can I still try and banish him? Absolutely, you can. <laughs> I have to. I have to fucking try, dude. I, Are you I, underwater? Yes. If you use a spell with a verbal component, uh, you're going to use up all your oxygen instantly. You can cast one spell. But you'll start drowning. drowning. I'll start drowning. You will start drowning instantly. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's probably better. You're to basically drink. using all of your oxygen to cast this spell. Ah, uh, it's not. That's not. I mean, again. but if it works. But yeah, okay. He probably has his fucking legendary resistance to. Mm. But who Fuck. knows? Fuck. No. Is that? Is that a home room? I'm pretty sure that's just how it works. 5th edition says nothing about that. Fifth edition makes your lungs uh, extremely large. Yeah, yeah. You can you hold, hold your hold breath for and just do as much shit yeah. as possible. Yeah. yeah. You can hold your breath for a long time, but opening your mouth and speaking while underwater is willingly getting rid of all your breath. You're not holding your breath anymore. Spells aren't affected by underwater combat in 5th edition. But your breath is. Your breath. Yeah, it says nothing about verbal. It says nothing about spells. That's why I was asking. It doesn't if need to. <laughs> if you open your mouth, you're no longer holding your breath. Hmm. Am I willing to risk it? Is the real fucking question. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, fuck. Come on. He's used, I believe. Three. I think it's. I think. I think it's three of them so I far. I think. I think he used three on my disintegrator. Yeah, it was three on the disintegrate. Because one for me, one for uh, something else, and then the Suggestion. disintegrate. Yeah, and then the disintegrate. So that's three. Odds are, usually this, this shit comes in threes. Odds are, <laughs> I can try again. But there's also the chance that he just saves on it flat out, is the thing. I mean, do you have a get out of jail free card? I most definitely don't. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucked up problem. Can I interest you in trying the ability of your hammer that you haven't used yet? That's true, but I just, I, I can't, like, I throw it, no? Yeah, but you're, the, the, uh, uh... You can pause you have disadvantage on an attack anyway, you're already restrained. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can just throw it, yeah. It's up to you. Sure, I, I'll try that. I'll try that. Okay. So, as an action, oh. you paste it, actually, and describe it, please. The DC-15. I feel like I just take it, like, single-handed, right? And I just, like, toss it as hard as I can. And it's like, I feel like it sails out of the water. Like, I throw it hard enough where it goes out of the water with some, like, help. And it, like, comes sailing back down on top of it. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Roll me 66 fire damage, and I will roll a deck save. God, what the fuck? That was a 10. Excuse me? Mr. Kraken, dodge the fucking Sunforger. No. I, no, I don't think I will. I was real excited to tell you that it dodged anyway. This, but yeah, but that, fucking... Not oh very goodness. much. But fucking. Okay. You still blast this thing in the face for a a comparable fireball uh, uh, to that of Lyanna. Uh, and it roars bubbling up at you the water around you shaking uh i guess that is holy verbal we just did a thing about that um go 
God damn it. Alright, that's gonna have to be me, since I can't do anything else. Yeah, unless you have a bonus action or anything, yeah. I do uh, have a bonus action, oh. but it's all verbal shit, so... Okay. And just for the... what's your con mod? Uh, con mod 2. Okay. Yeah, you've got... you're holding your breath for fucking forever. Uh, Kupo Shack, you are underwater. This thing is below you. You are yourself. You are faintly scarred by lightning damage, and you have a brief memory of being a fish. A new thing to add to the list of weird shit of my life. Uh, I throw in my cap of water reading to speak the action, and I can breathe again. Disengage bonus action as I fucking swim to the top surface. Okay. It's all my shit. It's because I had half, half speed. It would probably be... Yeah, it would be exactly 15 just breaking the surface. Okay. You can also move horizontally up to 15 feet with that. I could, but I'm still in range, so I'm just going to go straight up, so I'm out, out of the surface. Level. Okay. I very much swam in any direction I go. This thing would be out of distance. Uh, uh, yes, you say that, and it tries to tentacle you just as you breach the surface. That is a crit fail. 18? That's the natural one? Yeah, no, it misses. It misses. Yes. Uh, we'll go to mage. Fucking 17. Jesus Christ almighty. I'm gonna stab it. Attempt to stab it. Stabby stab. Uh, a 20 and a 25 are both gonna hit. For 20 and 18, respectively. Uh, and it again roars loudly underwater, shaking your skin. That is me. All right. On this thing's turn, it has two people grappled underwater. Good lord. Mage, would you like to be odds or evens? Odds. Adelante. Get oh, fucked. <laughs> you are drawn down towards this thing's head and it glares at you with its one good eye and takes a snapping bite at you. Oh, a butt. There's a 33 hit. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was fucked. I already knew I was fucked. <laughs> okay. That is going to be 29. And piercing damage me, dude. and you are swallowed <laughs> fucking god damn it now well now i'm just dead because i can't do anything in there uh okay i right, he eated me uh while swallowed you are blinded and restrained you have total cover against attacks and other effects outside of the kraken and uh as you slide down its gullet you feel acid begin to burn at you however you're no longer holding your breath so you know there's oxygen in it yeah thanks <laughs> thank you so much i hey. can't see but i can breathe <laughs> yeah uh where's the there's the eye icon Okay, and you're gonna be right here in the middle of it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fucking put you all the way up here. Out of the way. Um, yeah, it, it fucking eated Kaelin. And it is hanging out 30 feet below the surface of the water. Well, thank God it ate Kaelin. Adelante. I'm so sorry, Adelante. Whoops. <laughs> I was looking at Kaelin's token. <laughs> Uh, Lyanna is... Oh, I'm in. 15. She's going to run towards the edge of the ship here. And look down. You said you're 40 feet up, right, Kaylin? Yeah. Okay, so she can't reach you, but she is going to give uh, Mage and Ku and herself another mass cure wound. For, ugh, for 15 heal. And she's going to uh, shout down to Mage. I'm not, sh she's not sure if, she, if, if they can hear her. 
but keep stabbing it in the tentacle. And somewhere, mage, you feel bardic inspiration. Uh, we'll go to Kaelin, hovering above the water. All right, it's still 30 feet underwater. Yes. 70 so feet the... total from you. The only restriction for command is that a creature I can see within range, and it has to understand my language. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't really say if it can hear you. It's magic. I mean, yeah, like, the, I assume the magic yeah. of it is the command compels them. Yeah. Hearing the word right. is less important than, like, a suggestion. I'm going to... Well, Ruin's going to fly down to, like, five feet above the surface of the water. And I'm going to cast Command at the Kraken. Okay. And say, Approach. Approach is actually one of the, the default options for this. Okay. And uh, could you paste command? I, I don't remember if it's at oh, yeah. on its uh, turn or when it does the stuff. On its turn. Well, uh, make a wisdom save first. I might just succeed. Wisdom save. 15. Very bad. DC is 17. Very nice. Is he going to do the thing? It is not going to do the thing. Bro, I could have fucked. No. <laughs> Whether because it chooses to approach or because it has no more. Nah, for anyone to say i bet it doesn't have it anymore i was right mm. it does come in threes Fuck. basically uh, it also like it has to approach me and then just end its turn to won't do any attacks on this turn as well which is pretty cool did it say that it doesn't do anything else because halt uh, would be don't move and no actions approach. if you read approach Ending the target moves towards you by the shortest and most direct route, ending its turn if it moves within five feet of you. Oh, okay. Uh, and you are. I'm literally like five feet above the water. Okay, so ruin is ruin is sit resting gently <laughs> up at the water <laughs> level, like a beautiful uh, duck oh, snack. Like funny. his feet, his feet and leg basically touch the water. Okay. Uh, uh, it has failed. It's save and it will do that on its turn uh I'm i used a spell guys I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you <laughs> <laughs> yummy yummy in my tommy i'm, uh, I'm, in, I'm in the crusy at the start uh oh no it's not at the start of your turn uh Adelante, you are restrained and blinded inside of this thing, and you could feel acid burning you. Yeah, but it I'm has not, not yet harmed you. I'm not having a good time. Uh, what can I do here? Not very fucking much. Uh... There's not a lot I can do. I assume for Banish you need to be able to see a creature. Give it the Nate treatment. What does that mean? Food poisoning. Oh, hey! Burn. <laughs> One creature that you can see within range. Yeah. Well, do I really have to see it to know I'm inside it? You're blinded. You can't see anything. There's acid in your eyes. No, this whore. I'm in it. <laughs> um, can I still do this if I can't see? This is not very piratey music. I'm listening to a 10 hour repeat of He's a Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure that I literally just can't do anything at all. I think I'm literally fucked. <laughs> I mean, you Too could try and attack it with your I with your hammer. You you resummon it. It's an action to resummon it. You'd have to do oh. it. So I'd have to do the action, and then I can't do anything, and I can't do spells. So I can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, you could heal yourself. 
I can't do that either. I have to see myself. <laughs> at least I, for some Your reason, wounds is a touch. Yeah, Your I, wounds I is a touch. Uh, yeah, I, I have to juice myself constantly. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could burn a big cure wounds. If nothing else, throw out some uh, fucking. I don't know. Uh, oh, Spirit Guardians. I don't need to see shit for that one. Mm. I don't know if that would help me on the inside. I have to heal myself first. It That's does that. damage, but anyway. I have to heal myself first. I yeah. am very close to being dead. Um, okay. Yeah, well, so I'll call, I'll call it Cure Wounds. I'm gonna call it the six, dude. Big six level Cure Wounds. Or not you. that much. You you lay in the guts of this creature, praying to your god to save you. It's a shame you use your divine inspiration. Eh. Intervention. Whoops. Who's to say it would have worked then? Right? Um. Yeah. Are you deaf or just blind? Just blind. Okay. All right. Well. Did it roll? Me. Did it roll? Oh, it did. I'm just scrolled up. Okay. Yeah. Alright, then we'll go to Koo Poshak. I'm assuming shooting into the water would be disadvantage. <laughs> uh Yes. Ranged attacks are made made at a disadvantage. Got it. No, ranged weapons do not have disadvantage in underwater combat. I think crossbows do. I don't know about other ones. Crossbows. Well are we talking about shooting into water or shooting in water? Is that Sh in into water? But either way, it, it, you you just automatically fail anything beyond your uh, far range, even if you have sharpshooter or anything. And like a short bow can only do eighty feet underwater. There's no long range up to three twenty. But it would still be at a disadvantage shot. No, it wouldn't. If it's a ranged weapon, it's not a disadvantage. Melee weapons have disadvantage. Hmm. They just don't go as far. Alright. Uh, then I will step out of the water. A little hover boot. Okay. Floating on the... Well, just above the surface, I should say. <sighs> and then it would be at normal. So yeah, I'm going to try and sling it with a... With, what a, with a sling. Yeah. What are my last plus two bullets? After this, I only have two left. 27's definitely gonna hit. Now I have to decide if Adelante being inside of it counts as an ally within five feet of it. Just. I am in it. I mean, you're in it, and you could technically, <laughs> technically be fighting it. Yeah. yeah. So sure. Hell Why the yeah. hell not? Thank you. No reason to say no. So say yes. Thirty-eight. Bludgeoning damage drives deeply into this thing. It looks, uh, 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 uh very hurt. There's some light coming in. It, 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 it is not much stronger now than you all are at your max. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, Adelante. You're in its gut. If oh, it I dies know. and starts sinking to the I'm bottom, fucked. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't really see a way to get out of the. Shadowblade bonus action. Very nice. That is me. All right. The end of Ku's turn. We're going to get a trio of lightning bolts. Kaylin, Ku, and Lyanna. Deck saves. Lyanna will fail. Kaylin will fail. Who will succeed? Who is this? Was a deck save. You take nothing. Uh, Liana and Kaylin both take 19. Mage, you are grappled, restrained, and underwater. How far is the mouth from me? 15 feet. I've got a misty step down its throat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, higher low for its mouth being open. I'm going to dimension door into its mouth. Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're doing this. I. And I will. I, you are. So you. You are swallowed by this thing. And I will slide down its gullet and call out for Atalanta. Okay. As you go, you. The, it gets tighter and darker, and as you slide down its throat, you are blinded and restrained as you crawl through this thing's guts. I'm definitely down here. Uh, okay. At the start of this thing's turn, creatures swallowed by the beast take 42 acid damage. Good thing I hear First time I get to see someone willingly teleport into the gullet of a crack. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It takes a certain kind of balls. Um. Right. In its head. Uh, it swims up to directly below the surface, uh, uh within touching melee distance of both Ku, Kaelin, and Kaelin. Uh, due to its command, and it's its turn. Hell yeah. Lyanna. Why the fuck did he do that? Now I can't heal his stupid ass. <laughs> um. <laughs> fucking, I guess. Oh, shit. Uh, she's going to put a fireball over here. Uh, to catch the side of his thing's head. Or one, and it makes a deck save as a 25, so it'll take 10. Because it's out of the water, the fire damage is not halved. Uh, and she's gonna move slightly up, but can't get away from this thing. Uh, at the end of her turn, it makes a tentacle strike at Koo. Who just blasted the fuck out of it? You know, uh, thirty-three to hit. Oh my god, yeah, uncanny dodge. Okay, eighteen bludgeoning reduced to nine, and then you are swept up into the air once again. <sighs> yeah, at least you're not in the mind. It's true. Silver line. Uh, <laughs> Kaylin. you are in All melee right. range with this thing. You could step off of ruins back onto it. Probably don't. I can attack from room. Which I shall do. I'll tighten my grip on my feet so I don't fall off them. As I two hand just overhead swing into the top of this bad boy's brain. Okay. Get digging. Straight get for the goal. Get busy digging or get busy dying. 31. Definitely hits. I'm definitely busy doing that second. 30. It also definitely hits. I'm going to use third level smites on both of those. Fuck yes. The the DPS is back in range, boys. DPS is back in range. My encounters have become run away from Kaylin. <laughs> <Yeah>, <laughs> they really have. I've noticed. Why? Why don't you total that up for me? It's not on purpose, but it is what a smart creature would do when confronted by, holy shit, what is this thing? I can hit it, but it hits me so much harder. I believe that's 88. Whoa. 88. Oh, ow. Ow. <laughs> With ow. a massive pair of blows, you crack this thing's skull and begin wedging your axe sideways, prying open its brain case as it screams a terrible sound that causes your sails to shake and actually threads begin to start tearing themselves loose off of it. The boards of your ship rattles, pushing the nails out of the wood in some places. Your anchor nearly falls overboard. If Adelante was here, she'd see that same red glow that she saw from war just exploding out from my axe. Uh, you de definitely immediately get legendary action tentacle attack, Kaylin. <laughs> uh, 35. Yep. Oh, I 
hurt so badly with this boy. 19 bludgeoning damage and you are ripped off of Ruin. Rather than being lifted into the air, you are immediately dunked in the water. Dunk. Oh, sorry, um, that was supposed to be a con save. Ah. It's still so, grappling me though, right? Yes, and you are also restrained. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Adelante, you have started your turn. You are burning with acid. This thing is quaking and shivering all around you. I still can't do anything other than heal myself or I will outright die. You it's could I... spirit guardians, which will damage <laughs> everything else, but yes. I'll on the next turn. On the next turn, I'll be done. You can't clap your hand around me to try to find me? I mean, I can try and see where you're at. Yeah. You you are both blinded and restrained. Can I yeah, feel around? You, you, I can't you have it. zero movement, <laughs> but Adelante should be able to feel me yeah, if I am in the vicinity. You are not. They swallowed her up two full turns ago. Oh, you're mm. on your way down. Yeah, the, she is in this thing's guts. You are sliding down the gullet. Um, it's still like I. It, it, well, I yeah, assume it would have to life. swallow you to to like chew you to get <laughs> you to where she is. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't. I don't really have options other than healing myself. Then. Okay. Because I either heal myself, or I do what you say and die the next turn. I mean, or you kill it. I doubt that I'll kill it, but... It's this kind of fear that keeps you from greatness. Well, so I, if you kill it, the, the acid's still, still die. There. Yeah. I either kill it and die, or I die heal myself. Unless you can turn on a torch and blind it. I mean, banish it. I think I'm still blinded, even if I have light in here, though. Yeah, I don't know. acid you're is like, blind. Oh, yeah, acid you're, like, heavily blinding. obscured. I mean, that was 12 d 6 of acid damage. Yeah. You, you can take that. Yeah, was. Uh, so, for reference, I have 39 HP. You'll live. No. <laughs> oh, fucking God. No. Absolutely, I will not live. Um, oh, God. Uh, if I could use you or myself, I would. I mean, cure oh, wounds at that you, level is almost as good. If I wanted to good. heal myself, right? If I touch myself... <laughs> heal specifies being able to see. Yeah, it does, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Uh, Just if you on, close so your can... eyes, you can see your eyes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just get blindsided, well, that's all you anything. need. Your, eye, your brain actually stops taking information in from your eyes when you close your... I mean, I could. Nope, I have to be able to see it. Can't do that either. Um... Why is everything to see? Maybe this is something to invest in. Some spells that you can cast think, when you're blinded. I think, I think most of the spells that are that I can cast, I have to see for. Is the thing. I think that's that's all. a majority of them. Just most spells in general. Yeah, I have to see. I think I might have to blow a 7 on this if I want to not die. Um... Whatever. I'll do it. And it's not even that good. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, uh... 35 healing to yourself. Hmm. Not too shabby. Uh, we'll go to Ku after. No, did it? It did lightning bolt this turn, so we'll go to Ku. I did forget to do my Constitution save, but oh, for Shadow Blade. That is well and gone. Sag. Hmm. Steady aim dangle. The classic. Uh steady aim dagger. Ooh. Okay. So disadvantage from the strain, steady aim evens it out. 
Yeah, that normal. Get that sneaking. You would not get the sneak because there is a disadvantage on the attack, even if it's not applying it. Well, shit. Yeah. Alright then. Scratch all that. Try. Still does some damage. Ignore the sneak attack. That's gonna be a 27. Alright. Five psychic. Okay. And that is me. Alright, we'll go to Mage. You are restrained and blinded. You are at the base of this thing's gullet. You can feel the, like, trachea equivalent grappling onto you and squeezing you slowly down its throat. It's a horrific feeling. Pretty hot. Can I hear no, it? no vor. Um, yeah, you could probably hear the loud shouting heavily muffled from somewhere deeper in, but it's impossible to tell, to tell directions. You don't know what side is up. It's it's horrible inside this thing. This is a creature of nightmares. I'm actually getting really sick of how cramped I am. I'm gonna cast disintegrate. Does that doesn't require sight? I do not believe so. No, it does require sight. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Um. Uh... I have a Jimmy Jimmy Neutron brain blast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I make, absolutely. Can I make some kind of intelligence check to guesstimate where Atalante is? Oh, jeez. Uh, you could try. It, 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 that would be a he I, it would probably be perception rather than intelligence, but. It would be a, it would be a hell of a check. I'm gonna burn my inspiration. Okay. Cause I had it's a flat check, baby. Oh! <laughs> Mage, through the burning acid singeing your eyes, through the stinging air that is hard to breathe, past the muscles of the throat somewhere down there there is a faint golden glow that you can see even through your closed eyelids dimension door okay you end up directly next to Adelante you feel the warm slap of flesh against your skin Adelante as if there wasn't already a warm slap everywhere around me. it's different this and I would say the flesh strange. of this creature is actually fairly cold. Um, and and hard. Hey. Uh Yeah, mage, you do that. Fucking good job. Hey, buddy. Uh now we get rack to it. Give me the that juicy acid. Crack it. Let's roll some. Shall we? How many dice? Roll it out in the open. Roll it out in the, the dice open. Mag? Oh, okay. Slash roll. One. <laughs> 33 acid damage. Uh. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! It doesn't say I have to see. It says I just have no, to feel you the just damage. Have to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I love that. You don't think I? I'm thinking this through, man. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. I just didn't think you could get to Adelante. I didn't believe that there was a crit in the tank. 
<laughs> you did go. it! As soon as you got that, I was like, oh shit, it's over! Oh, Adelante fuck. Is totally, Adelante is totally gonna kiss him. Um, but let's see if you can save... Poor Koo. <laughs> uh, Koo, this thing draws you down towards the surface of the water and opens its maw wide, water pouring in to the bloody froth of this thing's face. Hell yeah. It does not look long for this world, but it wants to take you with it. A 26 to bite you. Well, <laughs> if only I could increase my AC more somehow, but even a shield would not save me, so uncanny dodge. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you are going to take 24 half to 12 piercing damage. And you are swallowed by this thing. Hell yeah. Wait, who was not within 30 feet of me, was he? No, not by far. No. Uh, Liana is going to... Kill, 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 kill. A fucking, um, two... F I mean, she could fireball again. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I mean, what more it's can that, she it's do? that or heal Kaylin so she can kill it, which is, I think, more the Liana move. That's true. But also, she just watched three of us get swallowed. Two get swallowed, and one true. jump down Will the throat. Willingly go in. <laughs> yeah. So, if I'm reading Mass Cure Wounds right, she can actually place the healing and it does yeah. not come out from her it's a and you choose a point and see. it's 30 feet from that point uh -huh. okay so what she's going to do is because she knows roughly where ku is because they were just swallowed she's going to place it in such a way that it's going to hit ruin ku kaylin and herself with a six level mass cure wounds for for, bleh, for 20 healing. The lowest of all three she's done. She's then going to scream down towards Kaylin. You fucking got this! Chop its goddamn head up! Kaylin. Oh, I thought she was going to give me an... You did. You, she did. Uh, Party inspiration. She did? Okay. Did, did, my mic cut, did my mic cut off? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you just you just said you got this, cut its fucking head off, and then you stopped. I was like, all right. Do, do I get a do send no inspiration? <laughs> all right. Uh, so swinging yeah, yeah, at disadvantage. Yes, inspiration. Twenty one definitely hits. And again, nineteen. I'll use the D ten. Yep. Alright, what spell slots do I left? I have one third level, which I'll use on the first swing. Caitlin. And then... Alright, I'm still gonna hit it with a second level, like, I gotta keep hitting, you know. It might already be there, but fuck it. Oh, wait, no, sorry. <clears throat> keep going. Caitlin, what does that look like? Oh! <laughs> We're still inside this thing's ass. You know how when you see an explosion come from underwater and you just get the broom of the fucking water? Mm -hmm. That's what Liana sees, except like all of the water around it just turns red. I guess with, with this creature's blood and the glow of Kaelin's axe. Yeah. Just you underwater explosions over and over. <laughs> Yeah, this massive red light, like a, like a magical lantern, fills the water for several hundred feet in every direction. And you feel more than here. Raucous applause. And then I'm gonna just try to fucking swim up. Yeah, you breach the water 15 feet down, you, you swim up to the surface uh, uh, with the last of your movement. 
Um, Adelante. Pick me up. Yeah. Adel you with the this massive explosion that has wrung the body you're in like a gong. You can see light coming from the throat of this thing as it no longer has a head. It's been blown off. It's you just could crawl out. <laughs> okay, good. You you could crawl out at half speed. It'll take can 15 I... feet of movement to get out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll start my way out. Uh, okay. Really? I guess I can see now, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> Not gonna let me have this moment. You're gonna make me fucking chase after you? Okay, no, I'll stay here with me. <laughs> do you want to maybe? Do, would you heal me? I can perhaps? see. I can see. Yeah, I'll literally, I'll literally use heal on me. <laughs> Because I can see now, right? While you're not restrained, you're both still effectively prone. Uh, yeah. And uh, 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 but I'm not yeah, blind. But you can. Right? But you're see. not blinded. You can see mage if faintly. Yeah, I'll I'll heal them like with the actual heal spell. Uh, can I do? I can do that at seven. No. Because that's the song I have. You could do whatever you would like to do. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna cast it at seven and just. just like, okay. Them mage, you heal many of your wounds in an instant at Adelante's touch and murmured prayer. Ku, you are also swallowed. You are in the neck of this thing, your feet poking out into the water. Uh, yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, you exit prone, but you are underwater as this thing begins to sink. I think that guy still has the cap on. <laughs> We're just gonna bonus action dash, swim the fuck off. Yeah, with a the... dash, you could definitely make it up. I love the image of Adelante looking up and starting to swim, and then, like, Mage is, like, there pouting, and, and then she's like, okay, I'll stay. <laughs> Mage would be grabbing her shoulder. <laughs> no, wait. I'm like, okay, bye. Mage. With a, firm, with a firm grasp on Adelante's shoulder. They make eye contact with her. I will show you that every person on this planet is worth saving. And I will dimension door to the deck of the ship. Ooh, hard as fuck. A particular place? Just anywhere? Uh, right over the scorch mark. I knew it. I knew that was Ooh. where it was going to be. I knew it was where it's <laughs> <laughs> Symbolically fitting. Or thematically fitting, With that, you have all I didn't want to survived that. my Kraken puzzle. Congratulations, I didn't want to think everyone. About him, you have passed the first test the of the first five gods. Test? Hell yeah. That's the very first one. <laughs> A test of strength from the god of knowledge. Could everyone please do me the favor of taking 10,000 experience? Is that a level up question mark? I... Uh, yes. I was about to say, no shot we kill a Kraken and don't level up, right? We were 9,500 XP from leveling up. Were you really? Ah, fuck yeah. Yes. Perfection. <laughs> Uh, so you all watch as the broth roils over and the dark form of this thing sinks I down am. deeper and deeper. Yeah? We don't level up, what? Is it not? Oh wait. Oh, it's, it's still... That's 165. We're 4,500 yeah, short. Yeah, it's 165. I'm Damn. blind. We're not there yet. Almost. We are Almost. quite far away, actually, I lied. Big lie. <laughs> it literally says level 14 still. <laughs> That's it, we did it. <laughs> I was totally about to give it to you, too. So you guys oh, still shit. need 5k? Give us yeah. the extra 5k? Yeah. What? Crazy. Can I get the extra 5k? Blessings from on oh, Only you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna also give it to Liana. She, you know, DM in DC. I gotta have her. Probably. I mean, it's fair. Not that Holy. half of her spells aren't always useless. 
Don't worry, the Kraken Hold. was the ultimate counter to Koo. <laughs> Hold, your brain moves over here. That was awesome. Dude, when you pulled the crit out, I, my opinion totally turned around of that maneuver. It was fucking badass. I I felt like it, like I didn't, when it happened, I wasn't like, bad move. I was like, okay, interesting. I feel like this is going to go well. <laughs> and I, I thought it was going to be fine until you said Mage was restrained inside there. I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I, I was just rendered it completely useless because I, I can't do shit if I can't see. That's, literally, I can't do anything. <laughs> I can heal myself. I'm about to go through every cleric spell and just start sending you stuff that doesn't require sight. Bro, if you, mm. like, look, listen to me. It does, if, if, if he didn't heal, he would have died. Yes, if I no, wasn't absolutely. healing, I'm dead. I melt. Ab yeah. Absolutely. There is no, uh, yeah, I'm not saying that in any way. I'm just saying if you want options. I will absolutely oh, I have you, options, you do that. but in the moment, I had no option. <laughs> sure. Like, I could have had, like, inflict wounds or something to use on there, right? But if I did that instead of healing myself, I'd die. Well, congratulations, y'all. Mm -hmm. I've wanted to do a Kraken fight since I first started DMing. They're fucking brutal. And the D&D goddamn difficulty calculator is never right. Because that, no. that, was, that was a deadly encounter and it was almost double your recommended XP. The D God. <laughs> fucking D&D calculators are impossible. It's, the CRs are always so fucking askew. Right, right, it's like... Yeah. I gotta get bouncing friends. Bouncy bounce, have fun! Hey, bye. Thanks for coming! Please, please. Thanks for almost killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost. a joy every time, you know that. And almost killing you. most of us. And thank you, Gordon. That was uh, what they call an epic gamer move. <laughs> and that shit was pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Hell yeah. Uh, this uh, combat went very similarly to last combat of me just slowly dying due to lightning damage based death saves that I couldn't succeed a single time. I was trying to fucking do, do so many mental gymnastics. I'm like, okay, I'm effectively fucking useless most of this fight. DC checks. <laughs> Hey, at least I kept saving my con save to keep me by plus 2 AC <laughs> against all those, like, 35s to hit. Yeah. What's the lifesteal spell? The wizard spell? Oh. Empiric Touch. Empiric Touch. touch. Yeah. Clerk the spell... Down. Clerics get that. Oh, Do death they? clerics get it. Death, right. Yeah. Special class. Well, I was gonna death say, because I, I played a death cleric version shortly, and I was like, wow, this spell's so shit. Because I thought if you hit once, it was gone, like a smite. Right. I was like, man, this spell sucks. And then... Uh, Concentration. Someone else used it in a different game. I was like, no, it lasts... Like, it keeps going for the whole minute. I was like, oh, so it's not just like... A couple D8 done. damage and a couple D8 lifesteal. <laughs> it's actually right. pretty decent. I like Wither and Bloom also as an answer to that for, uh, like, uh, multi-target heal and damage. Yeah. Mm. I just don't like the fact that, uh, like, it wizards and nice. sorcerers get Wither and Bloom. Like, the wizards should not be able to do everything. Like, heal and tank and utility like well i mean usually depends heavy what you invest in but yeah i mean is that i think that's the only wizard spell that heals besides themselves yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that's like the it was added pretty recently as well mm -hmm. like our main healer for the longest time in um, luke's game was our sorcerer <laughs> and he was like you know 
rightfully really annoyed that he had to spend most turns healing people <laughs> instead of doing massive AoE damage. What was that, Divine Soul? No, he was a Shadow Sorcerer. He's a Shadow Sorcerer, yeah. Oh, wow. So he didn't even get Cure Wounds and shit? No. We but had it was like, oh, at the start, they can take... she dipped. Yeah. I kept saying, if I die, I'm coming back as a cleric. I never died. Came very close many times. I still enjoy playing a uh, uh, fucking Erlin, uh, the the halfling. <laughs> uh, 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 um, Twilight Cleric mm. and my friends like very first game because they were like oh I don't really have anything pre prepped after the session zero but if you guys want to do like a mock combat between yourselves you could and it was oh, like God. me up against a fighter and uh, I don't uh, I think the other person was a wizard we were level 5 and they are like oh man we're just going to fireball it and I'm going to hit you so many times I was like yeah about that spiritual weapon first turn uh, <laughs> and main action was to to throw up my um twilight my aoe sanctuary. T twilight sanctuary yeah. um we were level five and it was night so i started to fly around and, it's one like it just, are insane. it's fucking disgusting i first saw them in my uh, i ran a, a descent into avernus game mm. and i had a player play oh oh very very interesting like super one of the only like super uptight law lawful good characters i've ever actually played with that like really really went with it um he clashed heads a lot with our warlock because he was like the complete like stereotype chaos warlock. yeah i was gonna say you didn't you didn't meet early game chrome steel mm. <laughs> he's laid off it a lot but my God, they used to clash heads with everyone about everything because he was like, I am so good and righteous. We gotta forgive the guy that killed like 80 townspeople because he said he'd be nice. But yeah, we, we've, we've known Twilight Clerics to be OP ever since Leora started as one. But yep. She didn't stay as one. She's like multi class like she's like eighty percent monk, I think. But yeah. at the start it was like holy shit, Twilight Clerics are OP. <laughs> she's a Kensei monk, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, because she's got the, sword. the long sword or the, yeah. the great sword when like No, sword. she's not, because she she uses the astral the is astral, it astral visage. or is it way of the quiver oh okay. Which is uh, what my monk used to do earlier the in the Jojo's game. The JoJo's monk, yeah. Mm. Gotta love JoJo's monk. Astral Self. I've always wanted to make one, and I almost did for this game, but I wanted to go more serious for festering faiths. I enjoyed playing an Astral monk, but I had to leave because of the aforementioned lawful stupid paladin. Well, I mean, you did just assassinate someone and get fucking caught by the entire city guard. Or, well, not well caught, that's but, like bolted. What's the class? That's that you I was can't... already on my way in. What's the class you guys can't get away from that you always find yourself making? That's tough. This is only like my. Actually, this is my third. Uh, DM. Ha. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is DM a class? I feel like I've never escaped. Beyond DM. that. <laughs> Look I wish I could play more DM, the... but I just... It's too hey. much sometimes. You wanna run? You wanna run opposite Mondays? He, he don't. <laughs> he really mm -hmm. don't. I will Not encourage... Right Not right now, but like, hey, if you ever want to put up a one-shot, I would love to play in that game. <laughs> I've had the trouble of, um having multiple people in my game that just don't care yeah. about the game and that they, they just exist. I I really feel that. It's one of my favorite things about this game is with two, two DMs 
and I mean Hana's a DM in their own right, three DMs, and you're not an inexperienced player because a lot of your games are very long running. Mm. We have it. I get to do stuff like have an extended vision sequence, and you guys take it very seriously. The gods are showing up, and though everybody's reaction is different, it's all very like within the realm. I feel so. Well. You started talking, and everybody got quiet, and the music was <laughs> quiet, and my eyes were slowly shutting, and I was like, I'm going to fall asleep, aren't I? And then I fell asleep until I heard somebody else talk. Oh, so the, the big OG Man. god did make two other gods. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the biblically accurate god.